Hello everyone, I'm Peace of Christ, all of you, please invite your friends and let us have a good time together learning the truth. You know, uh, today I was thinking, I mean, should I go live or give them a break from me? And then I searched, I said, let us see, maybe some Indonesian stars will pop in my window so we can refute them. So I type Indonesian star. I just type Indonesian stars in Google, you know, and then I found that the second I type Indonesian Ustad, uh, I found this. I mean, look, I just typed Indonesian stars in the search engine. What I found, three videos, two of them have my name. It looked like the second you say Indonesian stars, that's it. Christian Prince will appear. But the funny, I mean, as long in Google, in after out of 25 million search 25 million search and 500,000 the first three appear in the top is Ustaz Indonesian Christian Prince so where are they you know what I mean I mean can those Indonesian Ustaz say they never heard of me didn't know me they never heard that I am doing a great damage to Islam Muslims are leaving Islam in Indonesia and in many countries how come in Google my name appear right in the front out of a 25 million search the first you can do it yourself by the way I'm just do it from my side you know here we go this is the search engine I just click search Indonesian stars and I get this 25 and 500 25 million 500,000 result and what we see in the top Ustaz Christian Prince three videos two videos out of three is about Christian Prince and Ustaz so where are they the Ustaz why they don't come and say okay Christian Prince you know let us see what you have why like uh, this guy with his name insane and saying something why this guy he is making videos to refute the Christian Prince but he don't refute me by the way he never refuted anything I said he just make videos saying Christian Prince how Christian Prince Mustahil Christian Prince uh, Mustahil you know <laughs> Mustahil <laughs> so it's Mustahil to answer you right because you never call me can can I get your uh, Skype so I will call you so Ustaz is a great business. You know, there is many articles, maybe some of you can post some of them, about how much money they charge for every speech they do. You see here we come for free. I mean, none of you is paying anything to listen to me. I went around the world doing seminars. I never get paid. I even pay for my ticket. I pay for my hotel. I pay for my food. And actually, even sometime, we have the church if we can. In one occasion, actually, they want to give me a Bible. I refuse to take it. I said, your church, you know, it's a poor people. So I'll give it to somebody who cannot have a Bible. I have. But they said, this is a gift. You know, I said, it's better to give it to somebody who don't have a Bible. You know, anyway, later I found that they, they put the Bible inside my, uh, my computer bag. And I still have it actually. <clears throat> uh, so why they need uh, five thousand dollars to make a speech? Well, what is that is about? I mean, uh, are you uh, like when you speak, there's gold coming and people they take it and they feed their kids from it. Five thousand, ten thousand, six thousand. Why? Did you ask yourself, Muslims? Why those Ustad, they need all this money in order to teach you about Allah? The answer is very simple. The Messiah said, from their fruit you shall know them. The Ustaz is the same as Muhammad. If you go in the Quran right now, let us start doing Shish Kabar. If you go to, uh, uh, to the Quran, Muhammad, he made special verses about his pocket. Huh? 
Why? Muhammad, he made himself the same as the orphan. He have to get a charity. Okay, what is the charity? The fifth. The fifth of the charity to the pocket of Muhammad. The fifth. Muhammad, he been favored by Allah regarding his private part. As an example, a Muslim can have only four wives, which is not enough really for men. I mean, come on, we men, we need more. <laughs> four? <laughs> Hello? You know, are we chicken? They will say to you, David, he have uh, hundreds. This guy is a king and he was not doing what God told him. He was being filthy, actually. Who said that David was doing good? And David himself is not proud about himself. Why Muhammad he have a privilege in money and pocket and sex? That explain why those ustad they have a privilege about money and sex and everything. As an example, they found an ustad having sex with a woman she is married. What they did to him? They did beat him twenty lashes as as a as a beating by by, by miswak. Like uh huh uh huh uh huh twenty lashes. According to Islam, a person who do uh, for for location and he is married and she is married. The, the, the punishment is death. What happened to Sharia Allah? What happened to Sharia Allah? Suddenly Sharia Allah became something different just because he's an Ustad. The Sharia Allah court, they are from the same gang. They said, we cannot judge our friend who is one of us. We cannot stone him. We are going to beat him 20 lashes without even taking his clothes off, which means he might have like a bunch of uh, uh, blankets underneath of his T-shirt. And you should see the beating. It was like a uh, like a girl be beating her uh, uh, her cat. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, David, not but Solomon. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but even David, he he did uh, did, uh, did sin too. David, he did sin. Solomon did sin. Doesn't matter. You see, the Bible says David and Solomon, both of them, they commit sin. The Bible never praised them for doing sin, right? So, uh, uh, Muhammad, he mentioned the story of uh, Solomon, how he wanted to have 99 uh, uh, intercourse, right? If you remember. You see, the, the one thing about our Bible is our book never praise sinners for their sin. Praise them for the good they do and condemn them for the bad they do. So neither David, neither Solomon, neither anyone actually, the Bible says every man is a sinner, right? In Islam is different story. In Islam you do sin and Allah praise you for your sin. As an example, when Muhammad uh, he went to his own son wife and he went to sleep with her and he flirted with her what the Quran says Allah said to him why you are hiding what is in your heart instead of saying Allah saying to him shame on you the woman she's married shame on you to flirt with the women she's married right so in the Bible you will see that if David he commits sin David is a sinner if Solomon he is committing sin Solomon is a sinner. No matter who is the one who commits sin, he is a sinner. Nobody praise him for his sin. You know, when the Bible, when, when the Jews, they, they are proud about David, that because he is the greatest king they have, but not because he is the greatest holy man. Nobody says that David was holy. Nobody says that Solomon was holy. Nobody says any of any of those names you see in the Bible they, that they are, you know, I mean, even the disciple of Jesus, they agree that they are sinners. The only one have no sin is the Messiah, for he is God. Even in the cult of Islam, there is only one person who commit no sin. His name is the Messiah. The Quran says clearly that Muhammad is a sinner. 
But look what Muhammad he did as usual. He gave himself a license to sin. He gave a license for him to sin. Let us see the verse. See, Muhammad, people around him, they knew that he is a filthy man. So what he do? He make a verse saying, Allah, he says, I, I look at the first translation, it says that Allah may forgive thee fault. What fault? It says in Arabic, dhambaka. Ask any Muslim who speak little Arabic, what dhamb means? Dhamb. Dhamb is a sin. Since when dhambaka is a fault, you change the translation or the translator, sorry, which is a Muslim translation anyway, you will see the translation change. In miraculous way, the word zamb, which means uh, 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 sin, became fault. Look, we change the translation, Muhammad Biktal, that may Allah forgive thee for the sin that which in the past and the one to come. David, he did not say my past and my coming sin is forgiven. Solomon, he did not say, my past and my coming sin forgiven. No one says that. Do you see it? My past and my coming, why? He have a license for sin. So Muhammad, he do sin, but his sin doesn't count because he have a license to sin. And here you see if, uh, something funny in the cult of, of Muhammad. Anyone notice with me that the verses start with me? that Allah may forgive thee. Who is the one who's talking? If Allah is the one who made the Quran, how in the world Allah say that Allah, that may Allah forgive thee? You know what I mean? If you go in the Bible, you will see Jesus, he said to the Jews, because he said to a person, your sin is forgiven. The Jews, they were thinking in their mind, they did not even their open their mouth. So he said to them, which one is easier to say to him, your sin is forgiven or carry your bed and walk? The guy, he cannot walk. Which one is easier? Talk is cheap, right? Which one is easier? Say to him, your sin is forgiven or carry your bed and walk. But here you see Jesus saying, your sin is forgiven. That's it. It's forgiven. Here you see a guy speaking that Allah told him that may Allah forgive your sin. How Allah can be talking saying may Allah forgive your sin? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? May Allah, so who is the one talking? Obviously this is a fabrication by Muhammad making a verse about himself and he forgot to switch to Allah mood. So now he's saying that may Allah forgive your sin. And if you notice the connection between the verses and the Quran, you will find that the one who made the Quran is a person who was like just a person he wake up from drugs. Lu, we give Muhammad a signal, a signal uh, uh, victory. Okay, what the verse after it have to do with it? that Allah may forgive thee for the sin which in the past and the one to come. What does that mean? And then after that, he says, and he may guide you to the right path. Why Muhammad was lost? I thought he's the prophet already. You see, when you say and may guide you, it's mean it's a wish. It's mean this person is not guided. When I say to a person, may God guide you, Obviously, I'm saying you are lost. I will not say to a person who is guided, may God guide you. So here you see, Muhammad is agreeing that he have a lot of sin. Allah is saying to him, may Allah forgive you for the sin to come and the sin in the past, open license for sin. And then may Allah guide you. So who is the one saying that? Is Allah going to guide him or not? Let us assume that the one is talking is Allah. How Allah, he say, may Allah guide you.
Are we listening, Muslims? May Allah guide you. So Allah wishing, wishing Muhammad to be a wish. It's a wish. As long as the one who will do the guiding is Allah. So why Allah saying, may Allah guide you? It is you who will guide him. Are you going to guide him or not? Especially the Quran confirmed that if Allah guided somebody, he will be guided. And if Allah deceived somebody, he will be deceived. That's, that's it. Don't try. The Quran says, the, the yellow pages of Muhammad says, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguided and deceive? Huh? Read this verse with me in love. Hmm? Look at this. Would you guide those whom Allah has thrown away, out, away? What, 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 what? A translation, by the way, is, is, is deceiving as their God. In Arabic, it says, Man adallallahu, woman yudlilallah, and the one who Allah deceives, you cannot find a way for him. Let us change the translator as usual. Hold on. Change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us go to different Abdul. Hilali and Khan. All right. So what we will find with Hilali and Khan? <clears throat> Read to me uh, carefully. Allah has cast him back to disbelief. Uh -uh. Those people, they became unbelievers because Allah had made them leave. Did you see it? Because of what they have earned. So why Islam is coming to, we, 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 all of us, we earn sin. All the people of Quraysh, they used to worship idols supposedly. So because of what they earned. Do you want to guide him who Allah had made, made go astray? Like what the heck? So you want to guide who? The one who is not uh, 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 deceived? So a prophet of God, he come to deceive us or he come to save us? The answer they will say to save us. Okay, why you are saying, are you going to guide the one who need to be saved? Guys, don't forget to share the link and don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about this new broadcast. And soon I will post for you another uh, channel on YouTube. You know, we have many channels. Most of them, they try to fight us, as you know. So they do their best. No problem. Yeah. For us, we go live. It doesn't matter where. And people will follow. Allah has cast them back to this belief. Muhammad here is trying to explain that why they are not believing in his stupidity. Like there's virgins and there's a woman, her ass is one mile, which is good, by the way. I mean, who can, who can hit that? You have a wife, her ass is one mile. Think about it in a positive way. A bunch of, like let us say, uh, Italian mafia coming to attack you. And you are alone at home. But because you have a wife, her ass is one mile. She can fart at them and you can light a cigarette. And as you know, fart is inflammable. You will burn them all. Chemical weapon. The same explosion happened in Beirut. One mile ass. So Muhammad, he could not make them believe by promising them one mile ass before they were laughing. And now he want to give excuse why they are not believing. So he says, Allah told me, are you going to guide who Allah make misguided brother? Allah made them misguided brother. You cannot guide them brother. So why you said Muhammad, aren't you in the Quran, Allah, who said that we send you Muhammad as light for the world, Siraj and Mudiyan. This is why the, the Shia, they believe Muhammad is a, is a light and he is made from light and his family are made from light. Huh? The Shia, they use this verse, chapter 33, verse number 46, claiming that Muhammad is, is in the shape of a human, but he is made of light, him and his 
family members like Ali and Fatima and Hassan and Hussein, etc. So those are uh, made from light. And that explains why there is a light came from the private part of Muhammad's mother when she gave birth to him. And by the way, nobody saw that. There's no, no always in Islam, there's no need for witnesses. I mean, who need witnesses? By the way, yesterday, I have no witness. This is true, but this is a true story. Yesterday, uh, I have, uh, uh, you know, the, the guy who promised me BMW, if I can refute him, a BMW stopped in front of my house and spoke to me, speaking Arabic, by the way. And she asked me if I, you know, Allah want me to go to heaven. So I went to heaven, you know, and I played chess with Allah. And Allah, he lost. And I came, you know, in my way, I stopped in Hululu, uh, which is in Brazil, you know. And then I said to myself, as long as I'm in Brazil, which is in the borders of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Taiwan, I said, let me uh, stop in Taiwan and eat some Chinese food. But then I said to myself, I'm not going to go there because now there is a corona. So instead of going to Taiwan, as long as I'm here, very close to Taiwan, let me go to a close country, which is uh, Norway, you know, because they are in the borders. So I went to Norway, and then after I, you know, have some cake in Norway, because they have a good cake there, I said to myself, as long as I'm in Norway, let me go to my neighbors, the neighbors of Norway, you know, they are in the borders, you know, the Congo, yeah, in Tanzania, you know, to do safari. Yeah, because uh, Norway is in the border with the Congo. Do I need witnesses of what I say? No. Do I need to prove it? No. As long as your name is Muhammad, you can say whatever you want. You are light, my friend, you are light. You are light for the world. And maybe some, they don't understand what I'm saying. Don't you know that Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven behind the seven galaxies and he found himself in Ethiopia? Where? In Ethiopia, brother. This is Muhammad, he went up to the seven heaven. Where? Up. Where? Seven heaven. Okay, and what he found there? He found the Nile River and Euphrates. And Muhammad did not go to heaven. Muhammad, he went to Ethiopia. Do you see it? So how this story Uh, blue zone you see this is the last warning for you I'm going to open sky for you you call me if you don't call me I will ban you from my channel is that fair guys this guy this kid he's just saying uh, keep saying Christian Prince you don't debate me etc we want to see who you are here we go I will open my sky and I will give you five minutes to call me if you don't call me anytime you come here I will ban you we have no time for kids you see, I allow you to play between my feet, no problem. But you keep insulting and let everybody see your size. Here we go, we are going to go in Skype. <clears throat> are you ready, Blues? We want to know who is this guy we run away from him, Blue. I mean, you must be scary, man. I'm terrified. Here we go, Blue. I am in Skype. Call me. You have five minutes to call. All right. Call me or I will ban you. Potato. Prove to me that you are not a potato. Prove to me that you are a man. Okay. And if you don't call, people will be laughing at you, Abdul. Alhamdulillah. All right, Abdul. Maybe, maybe he thought I'm not seeing his text. You know, like uh, Christian Prince is busy talking, so he don't see me. You don't know. You have no idea. You are talking to who? Tick-tock, tick-tock, we are waiting for your call. 
Don't play dead now. So anyway, Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. What he found himself where? He found himself in Ethiopia. How we can find out? Here we go. With Allah, he took me to the loot tree. The loot tree is the one next to the house of Allah. Okay. And so four rivers. Uh -huh. Two which coming out and two is going in. Uh -huh. Now, how we know there are four? If there is two coming in, maybe they are the same two rivers coming out. <laughs> Which those come, we are coming out where the Nile River and Euphrates, you stupid idiot. The Nile River is in Ethiopia, the Euphrates is in Turkey. They are not even neighbors. They are not even neighbors. How this guy, he found the Nile River and Euphrates under one tree. Like, hello? Muhammad did not go to heaven. Muhammad, you went to Ethiopia, my friend. And he's confused to the point he thinks the Nile River and the Euphrates, they are in one location too. And this is why I said to you, <clears throat> yesterday I went, to, I, I don't even remember what I said because I'm like Muhammad, you know. Uh, yesterday, uh, BMW stopped in the front of me, took me to uh, the Seven Galaxy. I spoke to Allah, played chess with him. In my way back, I stopped in Tokyo, which is in Brazil. And then I, and I said to myself, you know what? Let me stop and see the Nile River, which is next to the house of Allah. I took, you know, I did fishing there too in the Nile River, you know, which is next in the house of Allah. And the, the lotus tree, you know, because for sure there's a lotus tree. I mean, imagine there's a river. For river, there's no tree. Hello. It must be a big tree too. And this is the only tree there. And this tree, by the way, you can walk underneath of it for 100 years. I mean, do you see how small it is? Even the bigger, the one bigger than the one in my yard. 100 years walking under the tree. Why? I mean, why it's so big? Do you think Allah is so big? This is why He needs a big tree. Allah are you laying down under the tree? Hey, blue time is is uh, is up, man. Cool. He played dead now. In two seconds, we will sing for you, Oh Mommy, Mommy Blue. Oh Mommy. Oh Mommy, Mommy Blue. Oh Mommy Blue. Oh Mommy. In fact, the bum of every Ustaz, a Muslim Ustaz, is blue because of my spanking. And that explains why you call yourself a blue, but yet you don't dare to call me. <clears throat> <coughs> blue huh? yeah all right so as you see you know those muslims they can answer anything i mean i, I mean it doesn't matter how smart you are if you say to zakir naik now okay how muhammad he found the Nile river there what muhammad what zakir naik will say <coughs> brother tita christian prince he asked what thing the other to they are what not legitimate not legitimate ah and we can view the very easy. The Prophet, he went to the seven heaven and he went and he found four rivers. One of them is called the Nile and the other one called the Rifidid. And that can be explained easy. Where is the water coming from? Brother, answer me. Allah. Thank you. All the water coming from Allah. So it's very normal to believe that the origin of the river is coming from heaven. Very easy. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's it. We got you busted. Can you refute that now? Hmm? Any Abdul? Anybody? Nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody, da -da -da. nobody, nobody, nobody know, nobody know. Okay, going back to the stars, let us go back to the stars. <clears throat> the stars, huh? Hmm. I found an article, I don't know, it's written by who, 
But when I searched for Ustaz, Indonesian Ustaz, I did not even type my name. And this is show up. An article written by Mura Sifudan. Sifudan. Is that a Muslim name, a Christian name? I don't know what is that. Samud distance debate, Oli, Christian Prince, Gara Gara. What is that, man? What they're saying to me? What Indonesian, what you are saying to me in my back? You are saying to me, Gara Gara? Like, come on. Christian Prince, Gara Gara? Somebody tell me what Gara Gara means. <laughs> Gara Gara, the Salib Ada Jin Kafir. Ah, the, the Salib have a, a, a jinn and it is a kafir. I mean, look at the Muslims, how they explain things. A woman, she said to this guy, how come I feel like there's something I feel really good when I look at the cross of Jesus? He said to her, there's a genie inside. <laughs> Unbelievable genie in the ball. Oh boy. Yeah, so that, that's a good explanation. That's it if you explain it, you know. Right? But I don't know what this has to do with me. Uh, let me use Google Translation. Hold on. <clears throat> gara Gara, just because of a Christian prince? So what, what do you mean just because of... What, what, I, don't, I don't see the, uh, the connection. Samud distance, the, 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 the taming, the tank, debate, only Christian prince, Gara Gara. Right. Okay, full translation. I'm trying to make a, a, a sentence out of it. Let me use Google, hold on. Samud is challenged by Christian Prince for on the cross there is a Kafir genie. Okay. <clears throat> this translation of Google. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know what they are saying about me here. You know, long article. I have no idea what they are saying. But whatever they are saying, I mean, who care? The question is, as long those Ustaz, I mean, there is no way. I mean, after all those articles written by the Muslims and even Christians and people speak against Christian Prince, people support Christian Prince, people with, people against, all those Indonesian who watch my videos by hundreds of thousands, if not millions, and we knew already some Muslim Indonesian Ustaz already spoke about me, saying my name literally. But yet they are not showing up. I mean, look at this guy when he's talking. It looks like he is doing something there. It's like somebody, it's like he's doing delivery or something. What is that? Okay. <clears throat> I challenge not only Samud, I challenge even Mr. Bean. I mean, who, who is harder to, to debate? Mr. Bean or Samud? Trust me, Mr. Bean is, uh, is harder. He will surprise you. Those guys are a bunch of idiots. They don't know what they are talking about. Mr. Bean will make more sense. Mr. Bean, you say to him, <coughs> you are like the guy who delivers his bags, right? <coughs> he give you some candies. Those stars, you say to them, <coughs> Brother and Tatar, Allah will give us virgin in the heaven and you start coughing next to him to fix it. <coughs> yes, those virgins are beautiful. Each time you sleep with them, they became again virgin and you cough again. <coughs> Brother, come on, people are dying laughing at this promise. He still, you know, he will keep coming. Mr. Bean will make more sense. Mr. Bean is way more smart and he make more sense to believe in it uh, actually mr bean can fit as a prophet way better than muhammad mr bean the ustad how many people will join the seminar of mr bean if he became a muslim and became an ustad you can imagine <laughs> Somebody saying, why Bible command to eat poo-poo? Okay, uh, SAP era. 
I want to ask you in front of everybody, nicely and gently, to show me one verse in the Bible saying what you are saying. If you cannot show it, you are a liar and you are a fraud like your prophet. Is that fair, guys? Just to show you, the Muslims' deception. Where in the Bible it says you eat your poo poo? Can you show me the verse? Everybody will be laughing at you. The fact the Bible speaks that you will be cursed, you will be suffered, you will be humiliated to the point you use the poo poo to cook in it. And this is what you Muslims do. Do you want me to show you? This is what the Bible is saying. You are a fraud like your prophet. Let us show you. And now he will say, oh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't do this. Who cares if you do this or not? So the Bible is true. And you Muslims use the poo, poo to cook in it. This is Bangladesh. Do you see the poo, poo? This is poo, poo This is what the Bible says. You are a coward, you are a liar. And you Muslim, you do that. Do you see it? This is Bangladesh. This is not a Christian country. Do you see it? Bangladesh. You dry the poo, poo by putting it in the wall of your house. And then you cook, you cook on it and you use it for your food. Christian Prince, why the Bible says do eat your poo poo. You know, you remind me of Mickey Mouse and Tom and Jerry. Cuckoo, 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 Christian Prince. Your Bible says that you eat poo poo. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. And then the second Christian Prince starts answering you. you. You play dead. Look what happened to you. He's gone. He played dead. What happened to Blue? Like a blue, you know? Blue, he want to debate me. Blue, Christian Prince is afraid from me because he want to record the screen and he want to tell his girlfriend, I'm a hero. I went to Christian Prince. You mean Christian Prince? All of him, all of him together, one piece. I told him, I debate you, I challenge you. He did not debate me. He ran away the coward. <laughs> and by the way, Christian Prince do not know how to speak Arabic. <laughs> all right, let me look. Until now, even one Muslim, All right. Nobody. 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 No. Nobody. All right. Any Abdul want to say anything? Brothers and sisters, the Bible, the brother, says you eat your poo, -poo brother. How this is, can be a book from God, the brother? You're funny, you idiot. You are a follower of a person who made you drink the piss of the camel, which is poo, -poo. And nowhere in the Bible it says we eat poo poo. You Muslim, you fight over the peace of your prophet. When a woman she drink the peace of Muhammad, Muhammad he said to her, fire will not touch your stomach. Really? So is the fire will touch the rest of her, only the stomach is protected? Is that called this the peace protection? Brother, next time, brother, if you drink the camel, the 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 the, the piss of the prophet, don't drink it. Wash yourself because it will protect whatever it touch. So it will touch you. Will protect you from outside, brother. Hell will not burn your stomach no more by drinking the piss of Muhammad. 
Should we make a commercial about it? Commercial break. If you're a person afraid from hell, worry about hell. Hell is your concern. Drink the piss of the prophet. The piss of the prophet is the most powerful piss. No compete with it. It's approved by the FDA, USA. I am Trump, Donald Trump, and I approve this message. End of commercial. What do you say? I mean, don't, don't even those people know what they have in their religion? You are coming to us to talk about such. You are the last one who want to mention this. If I am you, I will never mention it because this is embarrassing. By the way, do you think Donald Trump he should use? Uh, uh, did you did you hear Joe Biden? Joe Biden bite me. Joe bite me. He is quoting Muhammad's statement to the Muslims. I mean, look how stupid those people are. The Muslims in the USA, they are not even one to one, one percent of the population. They are very small, tiny. And actually, the, the, the no, bigger number, the biggest number of those who call themselves Muslim, they are the nation of Islam, which are not Muslims. Those are not Muslims. This is like a, a racist group uh, who believe that the white man is the devil, which means Muhammad is the devil. You know, this is what they believe. So. He was quoting for them what Muhammad said, you know, asking Muslim to, to do jihad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Alex, you cannot sleep seeing this? Alex, you cannot sleep seeing this. My friend, okay, we will change the picture for you. I hope you will. Uh, sorry, guys, we, we put for you, we will put for you different commercial. Sorry for that. Drinking camel urine is not good, brother. All right, what we will show you? Hold on. Brother. Oh, hold on. I saw, I found, I found post made by Muslims about who want to go to hell. Guys, look at this picture. This woman wearing burqa and this woman wearing jeans. The women wearing jeans, the door go to hell. And the women wearing burqa, the door will go to heaven. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? The funny that this woman who's wearing a burqa, the second she passed that door, she will get naked. If nakedness will make you go to hell, how come this woman who is wearing a burqa, the second she entered after that door, she became a prostitute? She is just made for boom boom. Isn't it funny? If we ask the Ustad, okay, this woman who is wearing a burqa, after she passed that door, what is her job there? Boom boom. So here we need to add, we need to add boom boom, the boom boom door, boom. Hold on, we need to take this arrow from the way. I'm very good in the art, by the way. I don't know, like if you know, I am the winner of uh, Allah Prize by a cartoon. Boom, boom. Uh -huh. What happened to my boom? Why is going? Hold on, hold on. This software, I bought the software just for the sake of Allah. Cost me a lot of money just so I can write in the screen. But I need to get a better software. Boom. Boom.
Дор. How many of you took a snapshot of it and posted it in Google? So people will laugh. So this woman, she is wearing a burqa, she will go to the boom, boom door. This woman, she is showing her body, she will go to hell. Well, hell is better than the boom, boom door. In the boom, boom door, you became a whore with no choice. You have no choice to be a whore or not. You are just there for sex. Boom, boom, door, boom, boom, door, boom, 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 door. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, brother. And they have pictures like they will show you a guy wearing jeans too, he will go to hell. The guy wearing Islamic clothes, he will go to heaven. I mean, it's hilarious. And the funny, the most corrupt nations ever in the world are Islamic nations. This is why Muslims, they cross the ocean to go to Europe. They die in the way. Coming from Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Nigeria, Algeria, Tunisia, Syria, Libya, you name it. Why you want to go there? This is the land of the Kuffar. You will go to hell, brother. Because your land is the land of corruption. How come you, the land of Muslims are not the land of good? Brother? Anyway, you know who said that boom, boom is wrong? Boom, boom. We pray five times a day. We fast, we do jihad. We attack some Christians, some Hindus, some Jews, and then we go there, and the woman with burqa would be without burqa, and she would be naked, doing belly dancing for us, and boom, boom. Uh, somebody saying, Indonesian or Stad do not debate you because they don't speak English. No, there's like, there's some of them, they speak English, my friend. Okay, forget about the one who don't speak English. What about, uh, what about the one who speak English? Did you see how many videos they made for me in English? Those that they did. What about the Arab who speak Arabic? They don't, you know, they, they, they say, we challenge you to debate you face to face. They knew that this is impossible, right? So they made a condition, which is impossible condition. Where is the, where is the one who speak English to? Forget about the Indonesian. Or what about Zach and I? <laughs> He asked me for 2,000 people to bring with me to debate him. 2,000 people I will bring with me to Bangladesh. You want to go with me to Bangladesh? If you go with me to Bangladesh, brother, I am going to, I mean, we will have fun there. I promise you. The first thing we arrive to Bangladesh, after we leave the airport, we go to debate Zakir Naik. And we will take the train, all of us together, which is fun. I mean, you will not even see where the train is located. I mean, what is the train? Anybody can tell me what is the train? Anyway, <clears throat> so they make it impossible because they knew first Christian friends don't go anywhere to debate people. They knew that this will never happen. And this is why they put this condition. Sam Shamoon, he keeps saying, who want to debate me face to face? Nobody show up. Did you ask yourself why? The guy is, is desperate asking for face to face. How many times Sam Shamoon, he said that? Okay, we have a caller. Hello? Hello. Yes? Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on hey, here. Hey, Christian Brand CP, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, I was looking, uh, I saw some of your videos and I was seeing uh, you were looking for some answers on Hinduism, on Sadhguru's and uh, some questions. So I felt interested. I thought maybe uh, I can take those questions. Yeah. Do you but think, what, uh, what do you think about Sadhguru first? Uh, uh, sending a strike uh, to my account. Okay. Sending strike so, to my account sir, about copyright. Yeah, what do you think about Sadhguru okay. behavior? Yes, yes, thank you. So Sadhguru 
Sadhguru is doing a uh, great uh, charity work. He's trying to. Uh, you, you, are, you, are, you are avoiding my question, my friend. You are avoiding my yeah. question. You are avoiding my question. I said, why said Guru, he made a strike of copyright of my video? Do you think this is a behavior of a guru? Uh, he made a copyright of your videos. Uh, I'm not aware of those technicalities. I no, mean, no, what do you mean technicality? I mean, I, you, are, you are an yeah. Indian. You use YouTube. You know what copyright strike mean. He go to, to YouTube. He say, uh, this guy, he used my video, and this is copyrighted in, in order to, to mute me, to take down my video. What kind of a guru, he do that. I am not a guru. People take my videos, use it everywhere, and we have the right to use it, actually. So why he do that? Uh, okay. Okay. So I cannot speak on those fronts, but I can definitely speak on Hinduism. Okay. So I, 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 okay. So as I long as you are speaking about Hinduism, I, 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 I wasn't, I I was, I was, I wasn't speaking Hindu. about Hinduism. I was yeah, speaking. I hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, my friend. If you want to talk to him, we have to listen to each other. First yeah, of all, I, I was answering yeah. him. I was answering. Can I put my headphone? Uh, uh, if you can just hear. Yeah, one second. Okay. <clears throat> Let me put my headphone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I come from a, a Brahmin family. <laughs> If you know in Hinduism, so you came from what? So it's like the priest. It's like the priestly. Oh, you are from Hinduism. you are from Brahma. Yeah. Brahma. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so basically, Brahmins are the priest. Okay. Uh, they 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 are generally. Uh, I don't do the uh, uh, the uh, worship and other things, but right now I'm in other uh, our generation that passed that, but we definitely have that knowledge. Uh, who can represent Hinduism and answer it uh, mm. in certain way in our own capacity? Okay, Sad Guru, he said you have thirty-six million God. Is that true? Okay, let me answer it. Let me not go. Uh, let me not represent Sad Guru. Uh, so he has the right to uh, echo his opinion. And no, 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 no. You say I don't me, accept. I, I don't accept. I don't accept. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I heard you. No, 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 no. Hold on. You see, you see. You want to talk to Christian Prince? We don't jump over the questions I say to you, or you yes, give it to me. So yeah, yeah, I, he said, he question. said, he said, you have 36 million gods. Do you agree with him, yeah, or, he did, or yeah, he did lie? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. So let's uh, let's remove the Sadhguru part. We don't care. No, 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 no. We will not remove it. No, no, because I want to learn. No, 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 no. You see, you are jumping over my question for a very simple reason. You don't dare to say if he's wrong or right. Is he right when he said you have 36 million God? Either you say he's right or you say he did lie. Go ahead. Okay. So okay, l l let's let's go one by one. Let's look. so so in 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 our philosophy there is no uh, binary answer. You see, you yes, are you are okay. you okay. are okay. not answering the question I again, my friend, my friend. In I order to give you my time, hold on. Question. This is not, not this is not yeah. complicated. Yeah. How come it was not complicated for him? And he said right away we have no, no, thirty six million okay. God. Why is complicated for you? You are jumping the gun. My friend, my friend. You, you either you say gone, yes. Right? I, I do not need a complicated answer. I am not a scholar in Hinduism. I am trying to learn from you. You are the scholar. So I'm asking you. Is it true what okay. he said that you have 36 million God or it's not true? Either you say it's true or you say it's not. No, no, there, there is not true or a false answer. There is like... Okay, then, then don't call me, my friend, yeah, because yeah, because I, if I speak to you for two hours, you will say, no, there's no answer. So why are you are calling me? No, no, let me try to explain. No, you don't need to explain. Because you are explaining. You are going to explain to me. Right? Hold on. You are going to explain to me that there's no answer. There's no need to, uh, to explain. No, there's no, no, no answer. Explain, okay. Right? Yesterday, two days ago, we have a, 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 a Hindu who called me. And I asked him, how come the Hindus, they have a, a rats or as yeah, God? Yeah, I heard that video. I heard okay. that video. That he said, okay, he said, he said, he said yeah, everything. Yeah, but opportunity to answer, right? He you said, he question. said, okay, hold on. Because, you, because you will not answer, because answer. you will not answer. Okay, I'm going to give you the same question I gave to him. How yeah. the rats became gods? Go ahead. Okay, now, now this is a see, 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 you, are, you, are, you have asked so many questions, but you're not giving, you asked first question like You are not answering, you are, you are avoiding then answering, to answer because this is our topic. Right. Are you going to yes, answer yes. or not? Are you going to answer or not? How the rat became a, be, became a god? Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so you, 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 you allow me to answer, right? You are putting a question. My friend, you are putting three I'm questions. Not, there's no need to repeat yeah, the you, question, how rats became gods? The mic is yours. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I I heard it, but if you allow me to answer, I guess. so which one you want me to answer? Rat problem or you did uh, not answer that one? Problem. You said to me already you don't have an answer. You said there's no yes and no answer, so forget about the first one. Now how about rats? 
how rats, my friend, okay. how rats, see, this see, is very simple, this is very see, simple. See, see, how see, in the see, world, how see, in the world rats became see, God? Doctor, uh, see, you have to respect, you have to respect like every doctrine has a way to answer, right? You cannot, uh, you cannot put me on the gun that you either answer yes or no or otherwise. No, I can, no, right? I can, because I'm not going to spend the day to tell me about your philosophy. I want okay, an answer. Okay, okay, so you're not giving I am asking you, minute, how rats, how minute, rats became a god? Okay, now. my friend, are you going you to answer or not? Give me one minute. You are you are yeah, doing minute, you are doing the same as the, you are doing the same right. as the Muhammadan now. I ask you a question. You said give me one minute. I give you ten hours. Okay. The question again. No, I'm not asking. The question hours, again. Let me minutes, not repeat, right? please. Uh, uh, I will yeah. give you the mic, and you promise me you will answer. How rat became a god? Yes, the mic I is yours. I promise you, I will answer. But you okay. have to listen, right? I'm listening. Go ahead. How rat? Right? How rat it's became? Like how rat yes, became a no. god? The mic is yours. Okay. Okay. So uh, okay. So let me answer the thirty-six million questions. Uh, thirty-six million. No, no, no. You said so, you will so, not answer that one. Don't. Here we go. We go back to zero. See, guys. When I ask him about it, he don't want to answer. When I ask him about rat, he don't. So what's wrong with you? Let us finish this one. How rat became? How rat became a god? I want to worship a rat from now on. How rat became a god? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. Okay. So first, you have to understand the concept of God in Hinduism. Okay. In in Christ in Abrahamic, there is only one singular concept of monotheistic go, uh, concept of God. Hinduism doesn't have a strict monotheism concept of God. It is pluralistic monotheism. So we have monotheism, which is the supreme God, which is the Brahman. And then also we have the manifestation of this Brahman, which is which we call as Paramatma, where we can reach him, where we can conceive it. And there is another uh, another form called. Uh, so basically, we worship the divinity. So anything which is divine, so rat worship. Rat is not a god. Rat is divine because that also has the same element of the Brahman, Brahman, which is there in you and me. It has also it also has the same divinity. Okay. As me and you. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got an idea. Do you no do you worship no do you worship Muhammad? Do you worship despise. Muhammad? Because you just said to me. You, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just said to me. You just said to me. Everything is divine. Everything is divine. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You see, me to answer in no, I want you to answer. I, you know, I stop you because I want to understand. Please don't be no, no, a talking machine. Okay. Uh, I want to. You said something. I want you to explain it to me. You said everything is divine. The rat is divine. Chicken is divine. Okay. Is Muhammad? Yes. Sir. Is, is Muhammad a divine? Is, is Muhammad? Is Muhammad a divine? You should worship. Is, no, no. Is Muhammad a divine? Si, 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 si. Is that, I, is Muhammad? I, 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 no, 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 no. You see, when you say everything is God, is Muhammad God, no, no, and you no, should no, worship no, him? No, 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 you're wrong. So you cannot. Uh, you, you, you're wrong. This is not what I said. I did not say rat is God. I said rat has divinity of the same God. No, you said. No, you said. Hold on. Okay. Didn't you agree? Okay. Didn't you agree with the guy who called me and he said to me everything is God? No, no forget about. I can talk based on my knowledge. I cannot talk about. Okay. What he is said, everything right? is God in Hinduism? Is everything is God no, in no, Hinduism? No, no, no. See, see, see. You have to. We have to understand that divinity is also part of God. Okay, divinity. divinity All right. It doesn't mean. So that is Muhammad God, part of the divinity right? of God? See, is see, is see, Muhammad? Okay, on, see, is see, Muhammad see, a divine? You cannot interrupt me again. See, see. You have to listen. No, right? no, no. We listen. We listen okay. because people. See, you see, if we don't do that, people we, people will not understand. We have to do this. Is Muhammad okay. part? Is Muhammad a divine? Okay, now you're coming to Muhammad. I'm asking about. Why not? If we speak about rat, if a rat, if, if a rat became divine, how Muhammad come Muhammad not will not be? He, he, At least Muhammad is a human he, he being. Prove that Gabriel is like a my friend, my friend. Allah. If a rat, okay, if a rat became divine, hold on. You see, I want to explain. If a rat became yeah. divine, Muhammad is a human being. How a human being can be divine, but a rat can divine? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I, yeah, that's what you have to listen. Like, what I, what do I mean by divinity, right? Mm. See, divinity, like, there is a divinity in CP. There is a divinity in myself. So when I do a num, if you observe Hindus, it's not just written in some book. If you observe Hindus, they always do a namaskar, right? Bow down to every person. It doesn't mean that I am worshiping you. It means that I am bowing down to what, the divinity in you. What divine? What, what, no, what, what, no, what, what divinity? What divinity mean? What divinity mean for you? What divinity mean? What divinity mean? What divinity? What divinity mean? Stop talking! Stop talking! What divinity mean? Okay, continue, CP. 
What divinity mean? I'm asking you. You see, you, you, you are a talking yeah, yeah. machine. You are a radio station. Yes, yes, yes. What, yeah, yeah. what yes, divinity uh, mean? Give me the definition of yeah, divinity. What, what divinity slowly, mean? Right? CP, we can go slowly. Even if we have five minutes. My friend, to talk, what divinity slowly, right? mean? Otherwise, there is no point. S what divinity mean? Yeah, yeah, I'm answering it. I'm answering hmm. it. Hmm. I'm answering it. Anything which is part of the Brahman, which is like, which is part of so the... So the rat the is part of the Brahman? That is part rat, divinity. Rat is a part of the Brahman. Yes, that has also the divinity. Same, okay. Well, nice. Okay. Well, well I, I, I do not. I do not need to talk. Okay. No, no. There's nothing to talk about. I mean, what kind of a crazy religion this religion is? The rat is part of your god divinity. Okay. Have fun. And you notice they will not let you talk. Why? Because talking. If you ask the question, it's embarrassing. I got the answer right away. Do not explain to me. Rat is part of your divine God. What kind of religion this religion is? How that can be? Rat. So Muhammad must be part of your God too. Everything is divine. No, my friend, don't call me, don't call me. I have no time for kids. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, 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 you see, you are, you are wasting my time, my friend. You are wasting my time. You just told me that the rat is part of your God. What, what we will talk about anymore? No, 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 the rat has the same divinity of the supreme cosmos. What supreme God? How, how the rat became part of the divinity of the supreme God? How this happened? I mean, this is, this is crazy. Don't you agree with me? This is crazy. Okay. It's a rat. The same way that we and me and you, CP, are part of the divinity. Rat is also in the same. So why you don't make? Okay, divinity. so I ask you. You see, you see, you see the hypocrisy, my friend. I ask you: no, is, is, is Muhammad? Is Muhammad a divine for you? Is Muhammad? Is Muhammad? Is Muhammad a divine? You just said. You said. You said that me and you part of the divinity of God. Is Muhammad part of the divinity of God? Yes, he is also part of the divinity of God. So your God have a... Okay, but that's, that means your God is a faithy person. Because if Muhammad is part of the divinity of such a God, what kind of God he is except such an evil person to be part of him? And why you don't make a temple for Muhammad then? This is hypocrisy. You Hindu... You claim just a, 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 a temple, which is used to be the Hindu temple, the most they occupied as usual, they steal things from others, and you destroy the, the, the mosque to build the temple. Okay, why well, you don't keep it as it is, as long Muhammad is part of your divine worship Muhammad. You made a temple for the right, made them make a temple for Muhammad. It's part of the divinity, the same as the right. The reason I have to stop you, because you talk too much, you say nothing. The same as Sad Guru. This is why his name is Sad. He's the Guru of Sadness. 36 million God. Do you have 36? This is a complicated question. But the guy here answered into words. He said we have 36 million God. How come you cannot say the same? And everything is divine. If everything is divine, me and you, we are divine. How, how, how the divine became only 36 million? Do you see the contradiction, guys? It's like we are reading Quran. Because if everything is divine, we have the rats alone in the world, they are billions. So how we count only 36 million as God? Somebody is lying to us. If everyone is divine, every rat is divine. How many rats we have in this earth? Only 36 million? My friend, we are a human being. We've been given a brain. Think and be wise. Rat cannot be divine. Neither a human being can be divine. He cannot. You see, the Bible says, for God, he humbled himself. He humbled himself. He took the form of a man. So the man is not a divine. If a rat is a divine, 
I mean, how even the idea come to your head? What happened to your head? Rat, the most filthy creature, caused death to millions. Eat the crops of, of farmers, destroy their life. This is me, cockroaches are divine too. Yeah, so this is this is not a you see this is not a really uh, a belief as as much it is a, a, like a collection of uh, confusion idea. You know, we put things together and we say everything is part of God. So rats are part of God, cats are part of God, and then if you do bad, you come back as a, a, a you come back as what? This is even against the, the, what they say. If rats are part of God, okay. The rat before he became a rat, what he used to be? A lion? Anyway, forget about it. <clears throat> for us, for us, we don't take a side. By the way, I have many friends who they are nice people, Hindus. I'm not speaking against people who they are Hindus. I'm discussing the idea. I have many people who they are nice people. I know them. And they are Hindus. So we are talking about Hindus as people. We are talking about the belief. And if you think that I should, I, you know, a, a Christian prince, he speak only against Islam because Islam is the only cult, you are mistaken. But because this is my specialty. This is my specialty. This is what my degree is about. It is the cult of Islam. Otherwise, you are not avoided. If you ask me, I would say to you, your belief is false. The same as I say to somebody who is a Jehovah's Witness. Somebody is Mormon. And the funny I noticed that the second I mentioned the word, uh, the, the, the Hindu belief, I, find, I found how, how aggressive the Hindus became. I mean, all those years I'm making fun of Muhammad. Suddenly now you are you're a Christian prince, your graduation. Now you have one point, etc. additional enemy to Muslims. I mean, my friend, who care? I don't care how many enemies I have. I say the truth. I say what I believe. If I care for the number of the enemies, if you're trying to intimidate me, if you're trying to threat me, good luck with that. Actually, I'm a person, the more you threat me, the more I do more. So don't even get close to that. And I can prove it to you. You say to me, I will kill you if you go online. I will go online after my, one second. This is who I am. Never try to intimidate me. Yeah. <clears throat> you see, the, the idea is it's a philosophy. And philosophy, you know, uh, some Christian they said to me, philosophy can help you to know God. No, philosophy never help you to, me, to know God. That's not true. If you need a philosopher to introduce God to you, that means this God have a failure. Because this God could not introduce himself to you. So you need what? You need a philosopher. And what the philosopher do? He spend the day talking, 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 saying nothing. Like this guy. He's telling me philosophy. Everything is divine. Me and you is divine. We are part of God. Where, where, where do you get this from? I am part of your God. I am divine. I might die in a few years from now. Maybe tomorrow, maybe today. What is divine about me? You go, you die, you come as a tiger. Or you come as a mosquito. Or you come back as a cockroach. That's a very bad philosophy. That's an insult to our brain. The same philosophy of Muhammad. Look, Muhammad, he said, if you go in the Hadith, and this is why actually I find Muhammad is copying from the Hindus a lot. If you remember, Muhammad, he spoke about rats. Rats, right? He said that a group of the Jews, <clears throat> They were cursed by Allah, and Allah, he made them rats. What the Jews, what, the, what Muhammad is saying is the same as the Hindus. 
You live as a human, you come back as a rat, or you live as a rat, you come back as a human. In the previous life, you used to be a, a Jew. In the second life, you are a rat. It's the same, same philosophy. That you are going to be changed and your rank of a creation will be changed by the magic of God. It's a magical recreation, magical. The stick of Hori Putter. The difference is, Muhammad saying those the same Jews, before they die, he made them rats. But it's the same concept, the same understanding, the same logic, which is very funny logic. Right? It's the same logic. You see, regardless what, what belief you want to believe in, Christianity, Islam, Hindu, I mean, use, use your brain. We agree that God is amazing and no one really can explain the power of God. That's why we call him the Almighty. For the Almighty is in his hand. No problem. But the Almighty has to be Almighty even in his, in his thinking. He cannot be Almighty by doing stupid things. What is the wisdom of Almighty to make me believe that a rat is divine? Who is the one who inspired me to believe in such a belief? You will say to me the divine, the, the, the only true God. Okay, why the only true God? He is telling me that those rats are my family. They are part of me and give them milk. My friend in India, people are homeless. They don't have food. You are giving milk to the rats. What about feeding the babies? So God should lead me for the right things to do. Is it right to give my milk in a poor country to the rats? And my children are dying from hunger? And my nation are homeless? With our respect to all the poor people, we love them. But which one deserves the milk? And the food so God should lead me to what is right so you come with philosophy and the philosophy now making me believe that I should give milk to those rats an elephant is a god the rat is God the cow everything is divine God Almighty not only in power but in a strategy, in concept, on nature. So what the nature of God, which is going to make me believe that rats are divine, and why God want to do that? Your God is not too much different from the God of the Muhammadan, who said that the right hand, the black stone is the right hand of Allah. And whoever kiss it or touch it, his sin is forgiven because it's part of Allah. And now divine are the rats, they are part of your God. For me, I find this is crazy. For you, it's, it is, it, it makes fun. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, good for you. Don't waste my time. Do we understand? And I don't want the Hindus to be upset, but if you're upset, it's okay, have fun. You brought this to me, and you get the answer. If you don't want to know what is my opinion, don't ask me. And the funny when they say to you, let me explain to you. And then he speak for 10 hours, he explain nothing, he say nothing. Anyone understand what this guy he said to us in those five minutes, 10 minutes he talked? Nothing. We understand nothing. The same as Muhammad is speaking about his God. What do you understand about this God? Nothing. Okay, ask any Muslim, who is Allah? He's the only true God. Okay, I'm not asking you if he is one or two or three. I'm asking you who is Allah. 
He is the creator, but the Quran says he is, there, there is many creators. The Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. How he can be the only creator? Secondly, let us assume he is the creator. Still you do not know who is Allah. What is the proof that Allah is a creator of anything? Muhammad, he could not do any miracle. And the Quran witness for that. He says, وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَن نُرْسِلَ بِآيَاتِنَا Nothing make us refrain from sending miracle except the former generation refused to believe in them. So why you lie and you say Muhammad he have miracles in the hadith? This is your Quran, chapter 17, verse number 59. And by the way, this verse was given after the chapter of the moon, which the Muslim they claim that Muhammad split the moon. If Muhammad split the moon, and this verse came after, way after about after, so how Allah He says we never give a miracle. Did he split the moon or not? And how the Muslim they say the Quran is a miracle? And in the same time, the Quran is saying we refrain from giving miracle because according to Muslims, the Quran itself is a miracle, which means when Allah He says we refrain from sending miracles, he is making a miracle. So how you say I'm refraining from making falafel while you are making falafel live on camera? Are you getting my, my idea? I say to you, I refrain from making falafel and I open my camera in the kitchen showing you that I am making falafel. I mean, who is the crazy here? So if the Quran is a miracle, then you don't say we refrain from sending miracles by making a miracle. What a crazy cult. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? I advise the Hindus, don't call me and open the topic of Hinduism because you will bring for you any pleasant answer. It's my advice. Don't do that. Stop calling me I don't compromise. I don't. I'm a believer, not a businessman. And when I hit, I hit hard. Any Muslim have anything to say? Someone saying, uh, the Bible is a flat earth. Okay, show us the verse where it says the Bible is a flat earth. Are you a Muslim, Sanka? Sanka. Guys, Sanka saying to you Christians, the Bible is a flat, it says the, the earth is a flat. Show us the verse. I will do this. If you can show me where in the Bible it says the earth is a flat, I will shave my 20 foot mustache and my 40 foot beard. Can you do that? Here we go. This is an example of the deception of those who fight Christianity. Challenge, who is the one can show us where in the Bible it says the earth is a flat? Who want to do that? You will say to me the four corners of the earth? Or go right now, open the Maryam dictionary, and you will see the four corners of the earth is a figure of a speech about the four direction of the earth and until now people use it in their books however the only book who says that the earth in a shape of a sphere or like an a, 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 like a ball is the bible in the book of isaiah the only book who said thousand of years ago that the earth is hanged on nothing is the bible the only book who says the earth is hanged on empty space is the Bible. Yet we don't make a big uh, story about it, says this is science, Allahu Akbar. We don't, because this is not a book of science. Job 38. Okay, as long as you mention to me Job 38. Guys, 
Job 38 14 it says the earth is flat okay here we go we will open Job 38 in the front of your eyes and everybody will laugh at you in a second give me a second hold Job 48 38 14 it says the earth is flat okay where it says that here we go this is Job 38 can you tell me where how you how you get the, the conclusion it says flat? Can you? Liar. This is the verse in front of us. Nowhere it says, not even close to what you I'm showing you all the translation exists in the internet liar no dignity they go and they copy from the internet false claims from false people but let me show you the shape of the earth in the bible here we go I mean, their lies is amazing, embarrassing. Isn't it? Here we go. This is our Bible. Do you see it? It is he that he stitched upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants therefore thereof uh, are as a grasshopper that stretch out the heaven as a curtain. And he spread them out as a tent to do it in. This is our Bible. What do you say? It took you forever to discover that the earth is not a flat. It took them a second to figure out that the earth is not a flat. And the Bible in front of us. So why are you lying? The circle is dimensional. Here we go. Now the circle is not good for him dimensional first of all first of all doesn't by the way doesn't say circle because at that time they don't even know the word circle it says round the round this is a translation because even circle does not exist i mean perfect circle it's not exist even in mathematics you can go and check so even when you say the translation circle he don't agree he don't like it it's due dimension <laughs> It's new dimension, that's it. You idiot. Circle does not have dimension. Circle, if you are speaking about circle, it's not a dimension. It's a fiction. But the second you talk about earth, and you say that the earth is in a, it is in a shape of a round. So in order to be a round, it cannot be two dimension only round because that will not make it round. Are you getting my point? If we take a coin, and the top of the coin is round, right? Okay, that's just a circle around the coin. But then what about the width? Or the height? That is not round. So obviously that's not what he mentioned. He mentioned the earth, all of it, is in the shape of a circle. All of it. Spherical shape. Okay, well, we cannot convince you, my friend, because as long as the circle is a flat, that's it. It's a, For you, it's a flat. Here we go. Take care. A person who believes right is God, he want to tell me what is a circle now. 
So it doesn't matter what you show them. It's the, you know, the earth is hanged on nothing. It's wrong. The earth is hanged. You know, I, I saw somebody hang it with a cable. That's it. Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? Don't forget to subscribe. This is one of many accounts I use for live broadcast. Subscribe. If we have any update, we will move to other account. We have, you know, Christian Prince, he make a lot of people angry for saying the truth. And because he speak the truth and he do not speak perfectly correct, I don't care I'm speaking to. I am a person who got priest busted. Jews busted, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox busted when they lie. I am a person who don't take a side except the truth. I don't care who you are. I care how truthful you are. I make them angry. And because of their weakness, they cannot fight me. They cannot debate me. We go back to Muhammad. Anyone have a question about the cult of Muhammad, which is very lovely? Can you make you an admin? Why I want to make you an admin? Just because you put a heart there, I will make you an admin. I need to know who you are. I need to trust you. According to Hinduism, the word in the top of a turtle. Well, this is true, actually. You know, I saw once uh, uh, somebody swimming in the top of a turtle. And I think it was uh, a very, uh, you know, like, I mean, it makes sense. The earth is his uh, top of a turtle. Muhammad, he teach the same. The earth is in the top of a whale. And the whale is in the top of a bowl. And just yesterday we made a video about it. Watch the video before it. The funny is, the funny, that they have, the, this, is what they, this is what they believe. And they try to throw it at us. This is what they believe. Any Muhammadan have anything to say? Like when a, when a Muslim, he says to you, oh, the, the Bible says the earth is a flat. Do you know that the, the Quran, the Bible says a phrase, a figure of a speech about four corners of the earth, like people coming from four corners of the earth. Does that mean really there's a corner? Will we have a Bible says clearly, it's not a corner. A second ago, a second ago, we were talking about the earth as a circle, right? So how we have a corner? I mean, you see the stupidity? And the guy, he said, circle is not, uh, you know, still not, uh, not right. <laughs> so how we have a corner if it's a circle? But look, it is the Quran who says, the earth have edges. It is the Quran says, the earth have edges. As an example, chapter 13, verse number 41. You explain to me how the earth have edges. Look at the translation. What happened to the uh, what, what happened to the edges? I didn't see it. You guys, do you see the word edges? It says outlying borders. Where, where is the borders? Okay, Muslim, where is the borders of the earth? You change the translator, you will find different translation. Oops, what happened? This translator, he says, edges. The second you say the earth have edges, it is the same second you agree that the earth is a flat. Correct? How we can have, how we can hold the edge of the earth? Where is the edge of the earth? The edges. Where are they located? 
Are we take a reference? So if a Muslim Abdul, he come to you with such a garbage, you don't know what to say to him? Yeah, you see, the, the, the Hinduism is obviously suffering from a lot of uh, holes. But because my specialty is Islam, so I will leave that for somebody who study Hinduism. I don't really like to talk about something I'm not too much knowledgeable about, not only have little knowledge, I have to have a lot of knowledge in order to speak about something. But even, even though with my little knowledge about Hinduism, it doesn't make sense for a second. This is why I encourage Christians, don't practice anything have to do with Buddhism and Hinduism, like yoga. I find that yoga is very disturbing sport, or let us say, they call it meditation. I'm not against meditation, by the way. But meditation can happen in different way. As an example, I meditate when I teach. I am more close to God when I teach. Why? Because I'm serving God in this moment. I'm serving the truth. What is better meditation than this meditation? My brain has the comfort. For I spend from my life, from my time, which is not going to go back. I cannot get back the two hours I'm here to my life and go watch TV or watch a movie. I cannot take it back. So meditation should be about something useful for others, not only for me. That is the meditation. That is about God. For God, he loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. So what God do? If God, he sent to do work. So why you sit in your bum for two or three hours doing nothing? What does that mean? What about going helping somebody is poor who cannot pay for his bills? What about a woman, she is old, she is dying, she have no kids, nobody take care of her, doing her laundry for her, if you are a lady, can help. That is the best meditation ever. What about a child, he cannot go to school, his family, they are forcing him to go and work in the street, you know, cleaning shoes. What about you do meditation by saying to the child, hey, I'm going to help you, I'm going to send you to school. Can't you meditate? by doing the right thing. They are fake. They are worshiping themselves. They convince themselves that we are divine. We, ha we have enough selfishness in this earth. Because we are selfish, the earth is being destroyed. Because we are selfish, there's people dying in the street and there's people living in a palace. Yoga is a form of selfishness, worshiping yourself, focusing only in yourself, forgetting about the world. You want to do yoga? Go see somebody old, he cannot fix his house, he have a leak in the roof. That is the best yoga. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Yeah, it looks like we have similarity between Hindus and Islam. I see somebody here posting a verse from Hindu scriptures. Maybe Muhammad, he copied that from, from the Hindus. Because actually I believe that Muhammad, for, obviously, in Islam is a theft of other beliefs. This is for sure. And obviously, Hinduism is involved in the creation of Islam. Muhammad, he stole a lot of things like the black stone, the shape of the black stone, in the shape of a vagina. We knew that in Hinduism, you have a, a, you know the male private part stone and the female private part stone which is exist in the temple of the Hindus. So Muhammad, he have the same thing. If you go and, and, and look at the clothing for the Hajj, which the Muslims, they wear when they go to Hajj, 
it is exactly like the Hindus. Even they show the same shoulder, they shave their head. It's the same practice. It is a total agreement with Hindu practice and Buddha. If you go right now and search for Hajj clothing, hmm? what you will find? When they walk around the Kaaba, they are wearing a sheet. It's just a sheet, there's no underwear. They show one shoulder. Do you see it? How this is happening? And why? You tell me. Do you see their closing? Any Muslim can explain to us why you are wearing the Hindu clothes? Why your Hajj cannot be practiced? If you look at this guy, you would think you are talking about Gandhi here. Isn't it? What are you wearing? What is this? Is that a Hindu priest? And why people are going naked? Look at this. According to Christian, Christian, they eat blood. Uh, people, they can read the verse you are posting it and people will laugh at you. Do you see it, guys? This is a total Hindu ritual. The Hindus, they have Kaaba. This is their temple. The Muslim, they have Kaaba. This is their temple. The Hindus, they have temples where women, they cannot get in. The Muslim they have the Kaaba where women cannot get inside the Kaaba. The shaving of the head, the clothing, the sheet, the wearing, the dressing, all is the same in the black stone. It is not a coincidence. Sarah Hussein, you want to speak to me? let your husband speak to me i don't want to speak to muslim females last time i spoke to a muslim females the muslim they say i'm harassing muslim women this is how coward the muslims are they don't dare to call me the men and then when a woman she called me and i quote for her what her prophet saying they say false things about me Okay, sir, I will give you a chance to call me. Let us see. Go ahead. Text me, sir. Sarah Hussein. Only Muslim can call, by the way. Yes. Can you explain Quran? You need me to explain Corona? Why? I became a Bill Gates? The scam of Bill Gates, suddenly this guy became a doctor, Bill Gates. I mean, what does this guy have to do with Corona? Suddenly he is the one who predicts Corona. He is the one who tell you what will happen in the future. Prophet Bill Gates. This guy is a filthy rich. He has a lot of time. He do not need to go to work. And now he became the prophet. And because he's rich, whatever he say, whatever he say, it's published in every newspaper. Bill Gates. Dr. Bill Gates. Okay, listen to Dr. Bill Gates. Viruses happen all the time. Disease is spread all the time. This is nothing new and will never stop. So I'm not talking about Corona now. I'm talking about always we will have plagues, diseases like this. This is not something new. It happened all the time. Nothing new there. Go read history. Every few years, actually, not only every few centuries, every few years, 
we have a new dangerous disease. What about Ebola? And nobody talk about Ebola until now it exists. But because Ebola spread in Africa and the one who's dying is poor, nobody talk about it. When the poor die, it's okay. Who of you heard of Ebola? Why the whole world don't go in alarm? Because it's uh, the poor people dying. If Ebola come to us and we start dying too, then suddenly Ebola will become important. Right? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim who would like to call? Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends about this channel. We will be uh, we will we will give you another channel always to find out where I am in case let us say we lost a channel and this is very possible which is not a big deal you know I'm used to this garbage always you can find me in my other addresses which is either Patreon the one you see in the screen or let us uh, post for you the other locations too uh, <clears throat> this is our Facebook address. All right. And for sure, we have an Instagram. We have a Twitter. An Instagram is the Arabian Prophet, and I post it. Many of you already have it. All right. So all of us, you will be updated, and we have minds.com, mind.com slash Christian Prince. So if you ever watch my videos, you do not know how to find me. You go to any of those websites, you will find the last video I posted. That will take you where I am broadcasting now as an update. All right, because you never know, you know, they, they, we are driving them crazy and crazy they will go. But who care? Creating a YouTube channel, it takes a few minutes. Activating it, act, make an activation for the YouTube to be live. It's, it's very easy too. So what a big deal. All what I want is just to go live and then people download my video right away. We record the video when we are live in case they try to play dirty games with us. So we can, like, like what happened with the last video, the one before the last one. They thought they removed the video, but we have it. And we have it now in Facebook. We have it everywhere. And people are dying laughing from that video. What happened to Sarah who wanna call me? I don't see anything from Sarah. No text, nothing. We have a Muslim here, he's asking me to reason with him. Let us see. He called himself monotheist. He is not there. It says last seen two hours ago. All right. Uh, maybe we have a Muslim here trying to contact us. Let us see.
See, when I see a Muslim texting me, I try to call him, but nothing working. Yeah, nothing working. No problem. Anyone else? Abdullah. We have a Muslim, his name is Abdullah. Any Muslim is live right now. If your Skype is working, call me, text me, sorry, and I will call you. Don't just call me so we don't have many calls at the same time. Anyone? And actually, I'm thinking to create a new account in Skype because this one is going crazy. I mean, it's impossible to see. I have like maybe, I don't know, 20,000 text messages coming. And the funny about Skype, it doesn't show you the newest first. It shows you like if you text me a month ago, still you will appear in the model. I don't see your new text unless I go down, scroll down. Very bad app. Any Muslim? If 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 Stars is not here, we can take uh, Mr. Bean. If Mr. Bean is listening, please feel free to call us. Muslims they say we Christians eat pork. Okay, how? So you asking me how to answer this? Okay, first of all, who said that Muslims cannot eat pork? Who said that the Quran say you can eat pork? Hypocrites, and this is a proof that Islam is a stupid cult because either the pork is forbidden or it is not forbidden. So, is it forbidden or it's not? The Muslim they say it is forbidden. Well, the answer no. If you go to chapter 5, verse number 3. You will see that it says the following. It's forbidden for you to eat those things, but if you are hungry, you can eat them. <laughs> so where is the forbidden? It's forbidden for you, but if you are hungry, you can, but whoever is complete by hunger with no intent of uh, wrongdoing, Allah is all forgiving, merciful. So is the pig is bad or good? Guys, do you understand? I'm trying to understand the logic of Muhammad, who is the one who is the true God of Islam. If you are hungry, still you can eat pork. That means pork is good. Because here we go, it can, Allah cannot feed you, the pig can. If you are a Muslim and you are hungry, who is going to save your life? It's not Allah, it is Mr. Pig. Do you see it? I mean, the world have millions of animals. Why Allah saying if you are hungry, you can eat it? So do you see, oh, there's no screen, sorry. I did not notice that, give me a second. My fault, I apologize. Chapter five, verse number three, says forbid it for you, blood, etc., etc., and pigs, swine. And then here it says, well, if you are angry, you can eat as you wish. Will people they eat? You, if you are a Somalian who live in Somalia and you are angry, eat pork halal. The Quran says that. So how the pork is bad, but we eat it. Either it's bad, because is eating pork will make me dirty. The Muslim they will say yes. So why you eat it here? Why it says you can eat it? 
What happened to your dirty? And why Allah is saying Allah is all more for forgiving? Forgiving for what? You are the one who gave him permission to eat it already. I mean, how, can you find me more stupid book than this book? He just told them you can eat pork and then he says Allah will forgive you for eating pork. But you are the one who said to them eat pork. It's like saying to you, I don't like Pepsi Cola, it's haram. But if you drink Pepsi Cola because you are thirsty, I, I, I forgive you. Forgive me for what? You are the one who says you can drink it if you are thirsty. In order to be forgiven, you have to do wrong. What is the wrong? You just told me if you are hungry, you can eat it. So why you want to forgive me for what? So you gave me a license to eat it if I am hungry. And then you said to me, don't worry, Allah is all forgiving, merciful. Forgiven for what? Aren't you the one who says to me, you can eat it? And what happened to the dirty pig? Suddenly the dirty pig is eatable. It's not dirty no more. See the problem, and this is why Muslims don't dare to debate me, because anything they will say to me will be used against them. This is why the Muslims, they made an article, I wish I can find it again. I did make a video about it a long, long time ago. They said, if you want to debate a Christian prince, never say yes, never say no, even if he said to you, the prophet is a good person. Because the second you say yes, he will hit you. So you go there, you don't say yes, you don't say no. If he ask you a question, never agree, never disagree. What? Because whatever you say, he will get you busted. You say yes, you say no, you are going to get spanked. So the only solution is don't say yes. So to so the Muslim, they, after that, they start saying to me, so what's your point? What's your point? <laughs> Give me a point. Because they don't dare to say yes or no. Like this guy, actually, the one who is the Muslim, he called me. I asked him about the guru. It's not that easy to like, answer, it's very complicated, either yes or no. A person who don't want to give yes or no is a person who have no answer or ashamed of the answer. My friend, I don't look for people names in Skype. They want to call me, they can text me, as simple as that. Let us see. Oh, we have somebody texting, hold on. All right. Sarah, she hang up on me. She canceled the call. Why, Sarah, why? Hello? Hello, hi. Yes, uh, Sarah, how are you doing? Hello? What's happening? Okay, I, I, it's my fault. I receive a call. I will answer them later. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello, hi. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, what would you like to say to us, Sarah? Go ahead. Hello? I, I can't hear you clearly. Wait, oh, uh, I don't know. I'm, 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 I can't I'm, hear you clearly, but if you can hear my... my. Okay, let me call you back. You hear me? Let me call you back. I just have... Okay, let me call you back. Hold on. Let me take... Uh...
Okay. And available. Okay. Try again. Well, it says you are offline now, Sarah. I don't know. Let's try again. <clears throat> anyway, when you when you can call me, I don't know. Like it's not working. I don't know what to do. Somebody's saying this is a fake recording. Maybe. I mean, what we don't know until we try. All right. Uh, John fourteen has seen has seen the father Quran obey the mission of Allah. No, you see, Muhammad. Muhammad, he is a person. Uh, he took he took the place of Allah, yet he don't claim to be Allah, right? So when Muhammad he says obey the messenger and obey Allah. You see, in, front, in some verses in the Quran, it says, Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. Muhammad, he went farther, and he says, The one who obey the Messenger, he obey Allah. But how by obeying Muhammad, we obey Allah? He who obeys the messenger has indeed obey Allah. Do you see it? So Muhammad, he made himself equal to God. That's why he changed his name to Muhammad. Muhammad means the praised one. The praised one should be God. For no man is to be praised save God. So the name of Muhammad is a title he gave himself with. Replacing God by making himself God authority in the earth. And yes, this is the purpose of Muhammad. He come in this earth so he can, this is why he says, I am, I am the eraser, al-mahi. Al-mahi, if you go in the hadith, you will find Muhammad saying, I am al-mahi. What al-mahi mean? The one who will erase Christianity and Judaism. And what the Christianity and Judaism based on? The Messiah. So he will erase, and he clearly says, I'm going to erase all those. See, all of those saying, Muhammad saying, I am Al-Mahi. Thank you, uh, Yuli. We love people in Indonesia, it doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or a Christian, and many of you, will see the truth, and the truth will set you free. We are calling Sarah again, let us see. Slight noise from my mic. Okay, Sarah, we didn't know. I tried to call her many times, it doesn't work. So if you want, you can call me, sir. All right. Look like she have a bad internet, maybe. There's a buzz sound. Okay. Is it better now? How you answer those Hindus who says, how you cruel Christians kill animals and eat it? Well, okay. You see, I will go with the with the with the uh, with the question. How cruel it is you Christians kill animals and eat it? If Hindus believe that everything have a life, plant have life, trees have life, and even they have holy they have trees. They call them holy trees. So why you kill trees? Why you eat plant? 
where you eat an onion, and this onion was in the ground alive. As long as you are a Hindu, you believe in divine, everything is coming from God, while you are eating, you should not eat at all. Correct? Even, even, even the milk they drink, it's a living, living thing. The milk is a living thing. Who said that milk have nothing alive inside it? Milk have bacteria. They are alive. You eat them. Yogurt have bacteria. They are alive. Actually, the yogurt, all of it is nothing but bacteria. So if you don't want to kill, so why you eat? You should not eat because anything around you is a, is a living thing you don't eat dead things you are eating living things if i go to my my yard right now and i grab a tomato this tomato is a living thing and the seed of it seed inside it is a living thing too and they can reproduce life so what happened to your spiritual uh, painful uh, regret Actually, all animals, they live because of the tomatoes and the vegetables, which means when you eat an animal, you are eating the vegetables too. We have Sarah going again. Hello? Hello, hi. Yes, Sarah, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Uh, first of all, um, thanks for taking my call. The other thing that... Why, why people are focusing on the life of Muhammad and not Quran? No problem. Itself. Go ahead, focus on the Quran. Go ahead, I'm listening. Pardon? I will go with you, no problem. Focus on the Quran. What, what is good about the Quran? Go ahead. Well, there are many things that are good in Quran. Like, for example, okay. how, could, uh, how could he predict it that uh, ascending the sky could cause chest symptoms? How could he predict hold, hold on, one, one by one, Sarah, please. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, one by one. He, he predicted what? Like, why he put an example of uh, ascending to the sky can cause you chest tightness? Well, it doesn't say that in the Quran. Who said that to you? Pardon? Who said that to you? Where he, where, where he predicted that? He gave an example for those who doesn't believe in God. Okay. Um, he can... can cause them a chest tightness in their chest well, just let like us, when they okay let us read the can we read the example of many examples just one by one uh, sarah, sarah. when you when you talk when you talk to me uh, sarah please when you talk to me let us take one by one if you go to the chapter the chapter you are talking about is a chapter six verse number 125 correct i'm not sure well i am very sure the verse in the front of me it says whoever do you speak arabic Yes. Okay. فَمَنْ يُرِدْ يُرِدْ اللَّهُ أَنْ يُهْدِيهِ يَشْرَحْ صَدْرَهُ الْإِسْلَامِ Correct? This is the verse. Yeah. Okay. So, وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ يَجْعَلْ صَدْرَهُ ضَيِّقًا حَرِجًا So, you're, 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 as long as you speak Arabic, I want to take advantage of having you. Does it say here that Allah, He will do you dil? What you dil mean? Pardon? What you dil mean? You speak Arabic. You dil. It says, وَمَنْ يُرِدْ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُ what you tell me, Allah, He will make make me go. Guide him, from, guide him away from the right path. Guiding away, guys. This is the translation of Sarah. So Sarah, she agreed that Allah will guide you away from the right path, so He will deceive you. But then, uh, um, no, go back to the verse. Mm -hmm. uh, woman, you read, this is not the you read is not for. God. No, it's, no, it says for God, it, you know, it says, woman, you read and you deal who you deal who you speak Arabic, you deal who it is saying that Allah is going to who 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 you deal who. So there's a guy who's a victim, and there's a there's a person who is going to cause the dollar. The one who will cause the dollar is Allah. We can read the interpretation if you want. Yeah, so, okay, that's fine. That's okay. fine. If so Allah, he calls Allah, he calls deception, he will guide you out of Islam. Thank you for that. Now, look what happened. You said to me, uh, Muhammad, he predicts something amazing that when you go to heaven, you go to sky, your heart, heaven, your your sky. sorry, your chest. Okay, what happened to your chest? 
it cause you constriction tightness well this is mistakenly wrong because when you go up in in height your yes you will feel that you don't breathe correctly but your chest will not extend your your chest is pressured so your chest is going going to be narrowed and look that's at the, what he means okay hold on no that's say no no hold on you see it says here right okay so his chest will be narrowed as as a, uh, as a pressure but his uh, lung will expand in order to get more oxygen correct he never said okay that it never said so, that it will expand no he did not say that so I'm saying but when you go up this is what happened it is your lung no, who they are the, it, it is your lung who is the responsible for breathing, correct? But when you go up, okay. When you go up, lady. First of all, level. first of all, anyone, anyone who go to the mountain, he knew that when you climb up, it's not easy, and you get, you start breathing heavily, and it's not easy task to do, correct? All of us, we knew that. Is, is that a secret? No. Okay. The mountain. We yeah. are not speaking about mountain. No problem. There's, yes, I do listen. Okay, hold on, yes, hold on. Okay, yes, okay, okay. okay. All right, all right, okay. So now the verse here is saying that when you go up to heaven, your chest will go narrow, correct? It's not the heaven, sorry, just, just, uh, it's not the heaven. He speaks about the sky. The sky, the sky no problem. Is the sky. Heaven. No, sky is the heaven. In Islam, when you say the sky, it is heaven. No, it's completely mistaken. Okay, find me one, one, find me one statement in the Quran, the word the sky does not mean heaven. The word, the word heaven is Jannah. Jannah, Jannah, and, Jannah, and Jannah, 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 what, what, what is, what is Jannah? What is Jannah? What is Jannah? I don't know, but it's something. Jannah the is a garden. The sky and the earth is the, the Jannah, earth with the, with Jannah, the atmosphere, and okay. the sky of it. Jannah but is coming Jannah from is the word, la lady, Jannah, I don't know, where is it? Okay, Jannah is coming from the word Janine, which means something unseen, something hiding, and it's mean a garden. So, where is the garden? No, that Gin. Okay, what is That's the gin. what is the garden? Okay, what is the garden? The garden. Hmm. The heaven, the Jannah. Where the it garden. is? Garden. Where it is? Yeah. Where it is? The garden. It, it's in every place. Where? But Jannah. But Jannah. The Jannah. The Jannah. The Jannah is a garden. No. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay. How, okay, hold on. Let me, let me let me show you that you do not know much about your religion. How many Jannah you have in Islam? Seven. Seven Jannah. Or, no, or oh, okay, guys, she said seven. Hold on. How many? How many sky you have in Islam? Seven. Thank you. So Jannah and heaven is the same. Jannah and the sky is the same. No. Okay. Where is? Never, the, okay. Never, we have seven Jannah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. We have seven Jannah. Where are they located? Where Where they are located? Seven you Jannah. Me, can I finish my my answer? Okay. Um, Quran points exactly what Jannah is and what sky is. Hmm. When he say that those who believe in him, regardless you are a Muslim, a Christian or whatsoever, okay. who believed in God, uh -huh. okay, uh, they will be rewarded. And the reward in Quran has come as Jannah. Never said to the sky. He never mentioned that you are going to the sky. Well, we, he say we, we will see. Let us finish the, the verse you gave me first because we don't, we don't want, we want to finish yeah, the, okay. the one you mentioned. So you said when somebody go and we will go to the Jannah, remind me please. So people will because we have we have some something hilarious your prophet said about Jannah. Look here, you mm -hmm. said that when you go to heaven, the Quran predict that when you go to heaven up, your chest will become narrow. Correct? You will have chest tightness. Tightness. And this is typical what happened. We, okay, but this they, is they but, okay. It's like saying to me. It's like saying to me, I'm a person who grow up in areas where there's a lot of mountains. I do used to do hiking all the time. It's saying it, it's like different. it's like saying no, to me something sorry. normal. Okay, but I will go with you. I will, I will I will go with you. I will go with you. But did your God? Okay. okay, you are saying to me this is predict about going up to the sky, correct? Okay, but this but this mean that Allah predict that a human being will go to the sky, correct? Yes. Okay. And what there is it? a verse that okay. about that. What what about what about then this verse that if all, if any one of you try to go out of the earth, Allah will shoot you with the star. And Allah. And that's for jinn. This is what it's for jinn for Satan for the devil, not you. No, it says for a, a, a human and genie. 
No. Okay. No. The, 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 verse, the verse say that um, it's, not, it's not for you because he points that people will go to the sky. He said, I will show them my signs okay. in, in the earth. Okay. And in the space. Okay, let's read the verse. And, let us say, and then, let, let us say, and uh, 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 Sarah is right. Let us say Sarah space. is right. But the verse in the front of us says the opposite. Read verse. Read for me, chapter fifty-five, verse number thirty-three. Go ahead. Ch chapter fifty-five, verse number thirty-three. What's the name of the chapter? Ar Rahman. Ar Rahman, which is written, which is written wrongly in Arabic in the Quran. Yes, I know. Then there hmm. is gates in the sky. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know the verse. Okay, read it for us. You said you said only genie shaitan cannot go, but the verse saying, "O assembly of genie and men, if you it it ye be, you can pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth. Pass ye not without authority exactly. of Allah." Yes, I know the verse. Okay, but you said yes. but you said this is only for shaitan. Are you there? She put me in hold. Maybe she have bad internet, I don't know. Are you there? I didn't know what happened. Maybe she, she, it says on hold. She put me on hold. God, did she say that this is only for shaitan? So Allah predicted that a human being will go to heaven. How Allah he knew that when you go to heaven, your chest will be narrow. In fact, it's not, that's not true. Your chest is not the one who caused you uh, the bad breathing, it's your lung. Your lung will extend because your lung will extend seeking more breathing, more air to get the same equal amount of oxygen. Right? So if we go up and you see this is how you can, you, you, in order to make the Muslims say, say something, you don't, you don't want them, I mean, to notice that they are going to say it. She just said that your chest will be narrow, right? And because why she said that? She said, yes, the Quran says that your chest will be narrow. But in fact, scientifically, it is the opposite. Even though I say it, when you go up to heaven, your chest uh, uh, will get narrow. She agreed with that right away. When you go up, there's less pressure. When you go down, there's more pressure. This is why airplanes, they have to maintain the pressure inside the, the, the airplane, which is different from the pressure outside. So when you go up, this is why if you are doing cooking actually down in the uh, close to the ocean or down in the ground, it doesn't take the same time when you do cooking in the top of an, a mountain. Why? Because the pressure is different. It's like a pressure cook. So in order to make them agree with you, you have to say something with them wrong and then they like it and then they agree. Did you notice? And now, I mentioned this verse, Allah, he predicted that Allah, a human being, will go to heaven, she like it. He said, yes, yes, there's a verse in the Quran mentioned that too. Okay, read this verse. He said, this verse is only about shaitan. But as you see, it's a challenge for a human being and genie to go up to heaven. It's a challenge. If you go there, Allah will shoot you. And who is the one who have authority to go there? Only angels and prophet. She hang up. Let us try to call her again. Maybe she had bad internet, we never know. So how Allah predict that we will go to the sky? When Allah, he said, if you go to the sky, I will shoot you. I will burn you. 
Sarah, if you are listening on YouTube, I'm trying to call you. I don't know. She put me on hold. And she's gone. Let us ask her to call again. She sounds like a nice girl. She is not a bad person. Actually, this verse alone is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is a liar because he never thought that a human being would go to the space. Hello? 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 Yes, Mr. Mustafa, how are you? Hi. So what, do you, speaking. so what do you what do you think about the topic, Mustafa? You are a Muslim, right? Yes, I am. Okay, so what do you think about the topic? Although he challenged us to go up to heaven, but people went to, up to heaven. Yes. So how this is happening? I, I, you tell me. You are the Muslim, not me. How this happened? How Allah he challenged us to go to the sky? And then a human being went to the sky, and not not only that, we have now we have a spaceship, we have a space station. People stay there, eat there, they even have a bathroom. So how Allah He challenge us? This is the comment every day, and whatever you talk about Islam is this and that. First of all, you want to know I'm Albanian? What? I'm Albanian. Who cares if you're Albanian or if you are? I'm my friend. You are welcome to talk to us, Albanian or not. This is not my question. How Allah makes such a mistake? He says to you, you cannot go out to the space, and then a human being go to the space. Yes. How this happened? Are you going to leave Islam now? If you talk to me about the uh, about the Jesus a little bit, I like to know. Uh, my friend, okay, I will talk to you about Jesus, but do you agree with me that the Quran is stupid? Ah, uh, maybe yes. <laughs> maybe yes. <laughs> Well, you have to say I'm yes. Not, I'm not a uh, deep religion guy, you know, like I don't practice religion at all, so just... Uh, my, my friend, uh, either you say yes, the Quran is stupid because the verse is so clear. Allah making a challenge. Nobody can go to the space and we are in the space, so Allah is fraud. So do you agree Allah is a fraud? Maybe. No, I don't want maybe. I want either you say yes or no. There's nothing. It's called maybe. Okay, I go yes. Uh, okay, Allah is a fraud. Thank you very much. So Mustafa, he called us. He left Islam. That's wonderful. What do you like to know about Jesus? Go ahead. Uh, how did Jesus become a God? No, Jesus did not become a God. It's the opposite. God became a human. So Jesus is the man who God take a form of a man. He came to us. It's not the man who became God. It is God who became a man, which means God, he humbled himself. He came to us in a shape of a form of a man. So we can see him in the way, in a humble way. The Bible says, yes. So God humbled himself, God he humbled himself, and he come in the form of a man. For this is an invisible God, his glory is amazing. So he humbled himself so we can see him, in order to meet him, to talk to him. So he came to us in the form of a man. In the same time, God the man is no different from God the God, which means God the man is still, he can resurrect you from the grave, he can forgive your sin, he can heal you from any disease, he can make the blind see. He can make the one who cannot walk, walk. He can resurrect people from, from, from death. And he can do things nobody can do. Walking in water, even the Quran say things which we don't agree with. I, I agree that Jesus can do anything, but the story itself, we do not know how he came with it. Mostly it's from fabricated Bible, uh, saying that Jesus created from the mud birds. So how Jesus became God, he's God. The question is how God can be not like Jesus. As an example, Allah cannot do anything like Jesus. Yet Muslims, they say is God. Allah cannot create a mosquito. There is no proof of anything he did. Muhammad is in this ability. Muhammad himself, he died by poison and Allah could not save him. What do you think? That's true, yeah, you're right. So, uh, you're absolutely right. I, I believe so, I believe so. You believe so, okay. So are you willing to accept Jesus as your Lord? Say like me, I can hear you clearly. Are you willing to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior? Yes, I do. I mean to that. We are happy for you, Mustafa. Good for you. So now, uh, so you are from Albania, right? 
Yeah, I'm on Vimeo. I'm, I'm actually in Canada. So. Do you do you know that I have a, a copy of my book for free for Albanian in Albanian language? Yes. All right. Did you read it? Yeah. I want you to promise me to share the book with everybody you know in the website, in the internet, in Facebook, so Albanian will leave Islam more and more, and your country, Albania, will be a beautiful country. They, they do live in so many, you know, even in Canada, so many they live in. Do. Okay, that's wonderful. So, do you promise me to I, share the book with everybody, with your friends? Yes. I mean to that. Thank you, Mustafa. Anything else you want to add to us, Mustafa? No, actually, it's uh, very nice to talk to you because uh, I listen to you every day, stories and stuff. And you talk to everybody, so it's, uh, you you talking about whatever you said. It's uh, exactly the truth, but the people don't accept it. So well, what I see is uh, you, whatever you said, you are right. If they're wrong. They change the subject. They go here, I go there. So I listen to you talking to the Kurdish lady. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you're talking to the Kurdish lady, and then she tried to, she tried to whatever, to turn around, saying this and that. So, and you did the right thing. You just shut her off. That's all. All right, my friend. Thank you, Mustafa, for calling me, and I invite your uh, Muslim friends from your country uh, to call, and uh, we may be able to help them to leave the cult of Islam. Thank you, Mustafa. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. Take care. God bless you. And I ask everybody, everybody in the chat, pray for Mustafa that his family they will accept his Christianity too, and they will be saved by, by 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 the glory and the grace of the Lord. They will be in heaven with him, and they will accept the Messiah, and they will be a beautiful people in the eyes of the most beautiful person ever exists around us. We knew his name is the Messiah. His name is a glory. His act is holy. His teaching is amazing. And he is the only one who can save us and can save Mustafa and save his family and save his country. Welcome, Mustafa. Take care. Thank you. You take care. Bye. 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 Uh, okay. Let us see Sarah. We go back to Sarah again. Sarah is gone. That's it. Sarah, Sarah is gone because she discovered. Let us see. Sarah is next. We are losing connection with the internet. Well, I don't know. See, obviously she is online, but she isn't answering. Sarah, she noticed that the verse is stupid, and what she said about Allah, how Allah protect what Allah predict? That if you go up to the sky, you breathe heavily. This is a prediction. Anyone knows. If you climb anything, that happened to you. You breathe heavily. Where is the prediction? But the prediction is here. Allah is saying that if you go up to heaven, it's a challenge for you, human being. If you go, Allah will shoot you. Okay. All right, Sarah is with us back. Yes, Hello, Sarah. Hi. Yes, Sarah, go ahead. Did you read the verse? Uh, no, I, I received the call, sorry. Okay, no problem. Um, so chapter the verse 55. From Rahman. Yes, chapter 55, verse number 33. Can you read it and tell us what? what yeah, yeah. Uh, um, the verse say that uh, that you can you can go out without uh, God permission, and there are gates in the sky. Hmm. You can't fly. You can't cross hmm. the space from any place you want. So Allah he gave a permission I, to the Soviet Union. Allah, Allah gave a permission to the Soviet Union to the kuffar, who don't believe even in God, the communist. He gave them permission to go to heaven. No. Um, 
We are talking about Rahman right now, or yes, yes, we are talking about Rahman because that's the, the first people who went to the sky. It was at that time, it was the Soviet Union, and they are communists. They don't believe in God. At least the Christians, they yeah. believe in God for you, right? The Jews, they believe in God. The, the, the communists, they don't believe in God well, at all. So did Allah give them well, permission? Did Allah give them permission to go to the sky to the communists? I have no idea. Okay. I, I'm not sure. Well, let us, let, but, let us read the verse but, but after it. No, let us. Verse, no, no, read, no. Sorry. The verse after it, it the says, the verse after it, this is this this one like why why he mentioned that hmm. why he put human being with the um, with the devil or the jinn hmm. at one place okay hmm. why how could he predict that they would try to cross the sky this is the first thing the okay. other thing is that there let, is a verse that no, let us talk one, one by one you see you, I, I like to talk about things one by one how allah he predicted so that we would try to back, pass hold on hold on no 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 hold on hold on i'm not i'm not interrupting Sa you, sarah sarah no no verse, we are not interrupting verse. sarah I, I like i like to take one by one please you just said yes. how allah predict um, that they will try to go to the sky did you say that how allah predict yes okay but don't you know that the quran says that shaitan he tried to spy at allah by going up to the heaven and allah will shoot him if he, when he tried to do that? Pardon? Don't you know that Allah in the Quran claim that shaitan go every day trying to spy at Allah. And when shaitan he go up to the heaven, Allah he shoot him by a star. Don't you know he that? Can't... Yes, I know okay. that. So where is the prediction but here? Allah is saying heaven. Allah is saying about something it's already heaven. already happening. It's the sky. No, okay, guys, she keeps saying the, the the heaven, not the sky. It doesn't matter. You said you said you are the one who said to me the sky is not the heaven, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the sky is the sky according to you. I will go with that. So when you go up to the sky, your chest became narrow. Wonderful. When you go up to the sky, Allah will shoot you with the star. Wonderful. And you said to me this prediction about they try to go out to heaven, but Allah did not shoot them. And here we go. When Shaitan he tried to spy at Allah. Chapter 15, verse number 18. What will happen? Allah will shoot him with a star. Okay, that, um, I do agree with that. But right now, let us focus with the first point. So hold on. No, he no. You, that, you agree no, with what? You agree with what? One. No, make it clear for me. When you, you agree with what? The sky, why you will have chest tightness? Because everybody know that it's like, it's like saying to me when you go in the in the in the sun you get thirsty. Everybody know that there's no there's no there's no no prediction here. No 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 no. There is something called okay. There is something called altitude sickness, pulmonary edema. Okay, hold on. And this is, okay, hold on. And this is when when you're a prophet when you're a prophet he ascend into the mountain. Okay, hold on. As long you are talking about the sky. when you are talking about the pressure in the sky, did your prophet when he went to the sky he wear a suit? Or he went in know. the top of a flying can... donkey. Who knows about that? Uh, no, we knew. No, knows, no, we knew. No, we knew. That you're, you're, no, you're a, pro you're a prophet. You're a prophet. You're a prophet. He wear, he wear nothing. He went in his own Arabian clothes and he did ride a mule, correct? A donkey to go to heaven, correct? And who said it was a donkey? It says here, it says al burak It's a, it's a, it's an animal between Dada. the sides. It's a, it's it's a, a huh? It's a dabba. A dabba. What? Dabba. What? Dabba. Okay, guys. It's a dabba. What dabba? What dabba mean? What dabba mean? What dabba, what dabba, mean? What dabba, what dabba mean? Tell me. No one knows. What it has come with many different. With with like for example, when Solomon died. Okay. Does it God does it look like a donkey? I don't know what's dabba. No, I'm asking you. I does it know. does it look like a da donkey? Who said so? Who made that? If I if I show you approve what you will what you will say, it's a donkey. Yeah, that it is from the family of donkey. Is it from hadith? Don't ask me now. If I show you what you will do. If it's in hadith, I will question that. If it's from Quran, I'll so take that. You are, you, are go, you are going to question your prophet. No, I'm not questioning my prophet, but I know. He predicted people will manipulate hadith, but no one can manipulate Quran. Okay, hold on. We will go to that topic about the Quran. So the the Burak is 
an animal which is smaller than let us see what the hadith says I will put the hadith for you in the screen and I will um, I, I don't have a screen because if I uh, okay no problem um, I will read for you I will read I for you I will read for you uh, and then he this is your prophet and this is this is Sahih Hadith this is Sahih Hadith it says Al Buraq let us read together here I will read exactly what the translation that your prophet before the angels they took him to heaven they cut his chest and they open it and they wash it with the water of Zamzam and then all the organ restored to the original position after which it was filled with faith and wisdom and this is funny that to, to, to fill a chest with wisdom and faith as if it's material and then I was then brought a white beast which called al Burak bigger than a donkey and a smaller than a mule does it say that um i really i'm not sure okay but the, dab, the hadith in the front of me i'm not sure I the have, hadith in the front first of me of all, i'm not i'm not just okay. let me tell you something uh -huh. i'm not i haven't studied islam in depth uh, my field is no problem like, okay I'm not, no problem but I, how uh, you how so your prophet hadith, how your however, prophet I, okay how your prophet went to heaven this is 100 percent because this is has been lady, lady. because he predicted Sa that Sarah, he predicted Sarah, people would lie Sarah, on his name okay sarah we are showing you from sahih authentic hadith approved by all muslims so it's not up to you to say i agree i disagree Otherwise, yeah, most of the, are you almost, most of the are you, Muslim are, are against women. They they um, uh, there are hadith from Prophet Muhammad that encourage men to hit women, uh, which but, is but not is, in the Quran, and this, he but, never no, did that. No, this is in the Quran. Um, this so is in the Quran. Chapter chapter four, verse thirty four. In the Quran, it says, "Beat them." Well, the the word daraba yeah. has come with with uh, 17 meaning in Quran right. and none of them means to hit her oh no uh, no hold on hold on no hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on okay hold on hold on okay hold on hold on hold on hold on you just you just say you just said the hadith explain the daraba as beating correct I didn't say so. I said there are hadith uh -huh. that encourage men uh -huh. to hit women exactly. based on okay. the translation. Okay, of you, you see, from you see, verse. you see. Okay, you see, you are, you are a person who speaks Arabic. Don't be hypocrite. So the word daraba, when you speak about you, you put a, a person or a, a, a thing after it. You are taught. I, I can say daraba method, and he he gave an example. So here the word daraba give an example. But here we are talking about the women teaching them how to behave. So, daraba, daraba, udrubuhunna, beat them. There's no other explanation, and not even a single Muslim he come with the explanation you are coming with. Can you name for me one single Muslim scholar? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, Sarah, Sarah, please, Sarah. Can you show me one Muslim scholar say that the word daraba in the Quran does not mean beat the women? Just one. I can't, but today. But okay, hold on. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Today, 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 because today, because this is embarrassing. Today, but today, because this is embarrassing. You are saying that, but every single, every nobody call me, guys. Anyone will call me. Anyone. Uh, we go back to Sarah. Sorry. Anyone call me, we will hang up on you. Sarah, are you there? Okay, let me block this guy. Some people are literally stupid. For Daraba, okay, hold on. Comes with hate. Okay, hold on. Okay, so you agree that every single scholar. You, uh, listen, listen, hold on, listen, hold on, hold on, Sarah. You agreed, you, you agreed, but you agreed. But okay, okay, now you became a scholar in Arabic. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, scholar in Arabic. Sarah, the previous scholar, Sarah, the scholar, Sarah, 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 the scholar of Arabic. The scholars, the scholars of Islam since 14 centuries until now, they did not find out the true meaning of the and today you're Muslim you found the true meaning 
What happened to the scars? What happened to Ibn Kathir? What happened to Al Jalalain? What happened to Al Qurtubi? What happened to Al Turmudi? What happened to all the scars? All of them they are stupid in Arabic. And today, okay, hold on, 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 Sarah, hold on, Sarah, hold on, Sarah, hold on, Sarah, hold on. If you cannot prove what you say, then you are making a false claim. Can you prove it? Well, how, why should I base my claim on the, the previous scholars? My previous scholars, for Can example, you prove it? No, this is, this is not a question. This is not a question. This is not a question. This is not the this is not the challenge. Can you no you tell me no 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 so you are saying you are saying you cannot prove it. You are saying you cannot prove it and the hadith support that the hadith says the prophet said the following a man he did beat his wife and made her skin greener than her clothes and then the prophet he gave him the chapter and not only that the hadith says nobody can question a man for why he beat his wife and then after 14 centuries and thousands of hadith from muhammad and his companion speaking about beating the women you come after 14 centuries burning all the books all the scars and even the hadith of your prophet because it's embarrassing this is what the, this is the only proof you have a fabrication now listen you can you can argue as much as you want about this we are laughing let us go back to going up to the sky. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am there. So guys, I, I made my statement. The, the, I made my is, statement. Um, she has no proof. As long as you have no proof, are we are wasting our time. Things no one can change, okay? You can't, I can't change the way that I pray or I fast or the cat. These are pillars. Okay, let, 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 let me ask you. Let me, let me, let me, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Are you, are you, okay, hold on, hold on. Why you are changing the topic from place Anyways, to place? Anyways, let's go back. Let's okay. go back. So now, I have when, limited time. Okay, let's when, go back when for, okay, uh, so when Allah, okay, when Allah, he made a promise that nobody can go out of the zone of the earth and the, and the, and the heaven for, for the man and the genie. Did the human being mm -hmm. pass that zone or not? Pardon? Did a human being pass or did not pass? He said, he said, read the verse clearly. Mm. Mm. If he allowed them to, to, uh, to go, it's his will. Mm. He can allow them to go. Mm. So it's not impossible. Okay. Because but, in other okay, verses, but read, he okay, point that. Okay, read it. Read, read, read the verse the after. Read the verse. Read, Sarah, Sarah, read the verse after. It says, On you will be sent a flame of fire to burn you. Correct? So if you pass, Allah will burn you. Uh, is it in an Rahman? Yes, in the same chapter, just read the verse. If, if, if he didn't allow you to go, uh -huh. if you are not allowed to. Uh -huh. So what the point of the challenge? So you are saying to me, okay, let us let us go with you. So Allah, he allowed the communist. Why are you jumping? Okay, hold on, hold on. We are right not jumping, we are not jumping. My first question. Well, this is the first question. You said that Allah protected and when you go up to the sky. What kind of protection about something everybody knows? In the same time, the Quran says nobody can go up to the sky. If you try to go up to the sky, Allah will burn you. Allah will smoke you. And a human being no, went there. I'm you said, hold talking, on. I'm not talking about space. I'm talking about the sky. When Lady, the sky. The okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, what? Okay, is the, the sky. is the first uh, the Quran speak about seven heaven? What is the first heaven? So the first sky, seven skies. Where is the first sky located? I have no idea. What do you I'm mean? Not a, you do mean what do you mean? What do you mean? Where, not, you, what do you mean? One, okay, okay. So when Allah here, okay, I will go with you. When Allah here, He says nobody can pass the zone of the earth and the heaven. Talking about which zone? But this is this is the sky. This is the sky. Which is sky? You see, uh, you see, we go back to zero, guys. Which is sky? She don't know. She don't know. What what is sky? We are talking about. It says the zone of the earth and the heaven. So does the earth have a zone? The earth have a zone. Zone, yeah. The zone of the earth. Where is the zone of the earth? I have no idea. I'm what do you mean? Well, the zone? Okay. okay. Is the zone of the earth? Is the is the zone of the earth? Is the zone of the earth? Is the atmosphere? Uh, the, the zone of the sky, yes, the atmosphere, the sky that's speaking about, it's 
in the, the atmosphere. Okay, so did the human being the did the human did the human being pass the zone of the earth, which is the atmosphere? You agree that this is the yes. The earth. Okay. Yes, they did. Okay. Did they Allah did. did Allah He says He will give permission to the communist, to the Christian, to the Jews, everybody got permission to go except the Muslims. Is that what Allah promised? No. Okay, so how the communists, they it's went up to heaven, anyone. as you it's see here, anyone. okay, if this is true, if Allah gave a permission to the communists, that means there's no point of this challenge, because he is making a challenge, all your assembly of the jinn and the man, and etc., if you can't go beyond the zone of the go, and you cannot go without my authority, and if you go, this is what will happen, on you will be sent fire and flame, and will burn you, and will smoke you, so if you go, okay, try, I will burn you, does it say that in verse number 35? This is if if he hasn't allowed you if you okay I just ask you I just ask you I just ask you if you Sarah I just ask you okay so you are saying to me okay so you are saying to me okay so so what the point of the challenge if Allah okay, Sarah Sarah I'm going I'm going with you now you see and just to trying to see how smart you are if if no, if no, oh hold on let me talk let me Sarah let's go back and then we'll... no second second if if, I, if I need to do something. Allah allow you, if Allah allow you, so the question is, did Allah allow the yeah. communist? Did Allah allow the communist to go? It's for everyone who can, anyone can go. There are gates. So what the challenge for? Come. The challenge. There's a challenge here. There's a challenge. If you can go, go. If you go, I will shoot you. So if Allah allow everybody to go, the communists, the kuffar, the infidels, the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus. All of them, they go except the Arab. And the Arab, when they go, they go by a spaceship made by the American or the Russian. So where is the challenge here? If no, if everybody can go except the Muslims. So the verse is so clear. This is a religious verse that nobody can go to heaven except by the authority of Allah. And the authority of Allah is only for the prophet, the angels, and those who Allah accept them to go to heaven after judgment day. Otherwise, nobody can go. So look at you, look at you. You are trying to, you are trying, you are trying to escape. You are trying to escape the stupidity of Muhammad. Listen, so Allah, he did not give a permission to the Muslims to go to heaven, but he gave permission to the communists, the Soviet Union, the Chinese, the Christian, the American, the Jews. Allah did not give a permission to Muhammad Abdul Salam, but he gave a permission to Jack Shalom. Allah did give a permission to Zakir Naik, but he gave a permission to, to uh, 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 whatever names exist in the world. All they are already in the heaven except the Muslims. So where is the permission of Allah and where is the challenge? The, the permission is that, the verse say that there are gates Okay. Okay, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, there is the, okay, the, there's gate. There the, are, guys, there is gate. There let me ask you about let me ask you about the gate. Is it true that the gate is guarded by angels? Yes, it is. Okay. Is it true that when your prophet he arrived there, the angels from behind the gate they ask him who is there? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? This is the hadith, this is sahih. This is sahih. <laughs> The angels, they ask Jibreel, who is, who is there? He said, Jibreel. He said, okay, hold on, hold on. And they said, and they said, and they said, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They said, who is, who is there? He said, Jibreel. He said, who is with you? They said, Muhammad. They said, is he called? He said, yes. Read it carefully. You said it in front of you on the screen. So how come Allah, he claimed that angels, they are bringing us from the seven galaxy, whatever. They took Muhammad to seven galaxy, whatever, but they can't see even behind the door. Behind the door, who is there? Do you see the hadith? Who is with you? Who is with you? Angel. How the angel, angel? How the angel? Angels don't know anything. Okay, they do not know anything, but they do not know Muhammad. Pardon? They do not know Jibreel. The angel do not know Jibreel. Is it Jibreel? The in the, is it Jibreel in no. Islam? Is the head of the angels? So how Jibreel? He is the command, and then they ask you, who is this? And then they said to him, who is with you? <laughs> so look how they fabricate everything. Very embarrassing. The Jibreel is then asked the gate to, to heaven to be opened. And then he was asked who he was. Do you see it, guys? It's in the front of you on the screen. Jibreel is an unknown person to the angels. Who are you? He said, I'm Jibreel. They said, who is with you? He said, Muhammad. Like, what the heck?
and look at the fabrication. Allah he says, uh, unless you have authority. So the question, Allah he gave authority to the kuffar, and he don't want to give authority to the Muslims. And if you read the interpretation, you will see almost in agree that this is about the one who have authority only the prophets, the angels, and in the judgment day, the good people Allah will take them to heaven. That's it. All interpretation, same as the word about Daraba. Suddenly the word Daraba have many meaning, many meaning, brother. Many meaning. For 14th century, the word Daraba have one meaning because now today it's embarrassing in front of the Western to say be it your wife. So they try to fabricate. This is the corruption. You see the corruption? Islam is nothing but a corruption. It's non-stop changing skin lizard snake skin. The skin of the snake changed every few season to match. To match what? Temperature, size. Islam is a snake. And this snake changed its skin. So for the last 14 centuries, all the Arab scholars and Muhammad, even the Hadith, from Muhammad speaking about beating women, all of this is gone. And then Sarah, and many of those Abdul today who try to fabricate a new religion does not exist. They come with a new meaning. How come Allah, he predict, predict what? Allah predict, Allah predict how the baby is made and the baby is made from a sperm who became a congealed dead blood. This is why I say, we have to go back to Mr. Bean. I mean, Mr. Bean is the best. Because Mr. Bean will not say what Muhammad said. Muhammad, he challenged mankind because he never thought that time would come and a human will go up to the sky. Mr. Bean will not do that. Somebody saying, can you prove Trinity? Or can you disapprove it? <laughs> I mean, the stupidity is amazing, by the way. When say, somebody says to you, can you prove God? And then you say to him, is God is exist? He said, no. So how you can prove nothing is not exist to be not exist? This is, this is, this is a stupid philosophy. Is God exist? He said, no. Can you prove that God is not exist? I mean, those who come, I mean, don't use your brain, otherwise you nothing will come except gas. Does God exist? I am an atheist. No, God does not exist. Okay, prove that God does not exist. But he does not exist. How you can prove him to be exist? Hello? Guys, if you are a Christian, don't call me, please. <laughs> How Allah can protect this brother? Shaitan want to spy at Allah? Why? Allah using microphone? And the funny Shaitan, he can sleep in your nose. How this tiny Shaitan can go up to heaven and spy at Allah? Yastariqoon as sama Yastariqoon as sama brother? Yes, brother. What does that mean, brother? They are spying at Allah. Brother, did they hear any news, brother? Do you know, guys, that when, the, when Muhammad was born, nobody can spy anymore. Shaitan cannot spy. That's it. إِلَّا مَنْ اسْتَرَقَ السَّمَحْ and they say to you, this is amazing Arabic. This is the most hilarious, stupid book ever made by a man. And don't forget, by the way, why you don't tell me about Allah predict that the earth is a flat? Because the verse after it says, and Allah, he made the earth like a carpet. And then he set the mountain in the top of it. The mountain are set in the top of the earth. And the earth is a carpet. So the Muslims, they see when they want, they don't see when they want. How Allah, he predict that the earth is a carpet? And how Allah, he notice 
that the mountains is a piece of stones he put in the top of the earth. Hmm? That's amazing, brother. Because according to science, it's proven to be true that mountains are piece of rocks and Allah, he put them in the top of the earth so the earth will not shake on us. Why the earth is shaking? Because Allah, he put the earth in the top of a whale. Did you notice the second you say to them, do you have a proof of what you say? She say what? Nothing. No proof. They fabricate their own meaning and their own fabrication stories. Allah, he predict that when you go, uh, guys, like the verse in the Quran says, that Allah, he made it from the, the, the water every living thing. Who agree with this verse? The Muslim, all of them, they say, how Allah predict this? That every living thing is made from water. My friend, this verse is proving to me that Allah is stupid. Why? Because the Quran says that genie are made from fire and angels are made from light. So how he say every living thing is made from water? I do not need to be a genius to know that if there is no water, everything around us, including us, is dead. This is not a prediction. Water is a major living substance in life. It is not a question. Any living creature need it. So where is the prediction? But here we have a stupidity. This verse here, the Muslim, they say this is about the Big Bang. But look what the Big Bang is saying. Don't the unbelievers see? This is something they see, not something will predict it. The Muslim, they say this is the Big Bang. It says, don't they see? So the fool Muhammad, he believed that the earth and the heaven are separated and this is something we see every day. Are they? We are not. They used to be joined together. Are they? Joined together still or not? We are still inside the space. We are little tiny dust in the space. How we are separated. If somebody want to say to me the atmosphere, that would be funny, by the way, because we just ask her, the Quran says there are seven skies. Is that the first one? Is the atmosphere? She said yes. But guess what? In the atmosphere based on the Muslim now is where the stars. <laughs> the Muslim, they speak about how Allah predict the atmosphere, brother. All right? But the Quran in chapter 67 Verse number five, it says that Allah, he put the lowest heaven, he put there, the stars and those stars are missiles against the evil one. Do you see it? Look like the missiles of Allah is not activated yet. And this is why Allah, he made the stars as a decoration for our eyes, which is funny because we don't even see one to trillions or billions of stars exist in this universe. So how this can be a decoration? Secondly, they are made to be missiles to show the devil. That is a stupid teaching. So the most time they say to you how Allah predict, we say how Allah predict the stupidity. This is the most stupid teaching ever. Do you know even that the Quran says, that there is seven earth and seven heaven. Where is the seven earth? Any Muslim can tell us? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead. What do you want to say? for the misinterruption. Uh, no problem. Misinterruption. So what I want to say is that our main point, uh, you jump to the to the space and I'll come to that, but my first point, 
uh, why he gave an example that when you ascend in the sky and this ascending is not to the mountain and he point to another ascending to the space um, not in the verse in Rahman another one however he he described exactly chest tightness and this is the typical presentation of something called high altitude pulmonary edema mm, okay let, let me ask you so you are copying an article speaking about this but this is something everybody can predict let me predict to you now that when a woman she have no, her we period when, when women she have her period she have pain when women she give delivery she have pain this is something we knew we practice every day if you run you have heavy breathing where Allah he mentioned what you are saying nothing it's all what it says that his, his, his chest became narrow but the fact is the opposite when you go up to the space you have less pressure yes or no no, is but the, when you are ascending the space, is, is, when, when you ascend, if you if we are talking about the space, I'm not talking about the space right now. Hmm. I'm talking about ascending to certain speed into the sky. When you ascend to the space, there hmm. is another verse that say when you ascend to the space, yeah. you will have a vision problem. And NASA confirmed that all people who been into the space. Hmm they complain of some vision problem. I'm okay. not going to that, I'm not going to jump to that. No, no let us go, just, no, just we will, no, Sarah, 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 Sarah we will go anywhere. Sarah, sky. Sarah, somebody told me you are a doctor, correct? Hmm? Somebody told me you are a doctor? Yes, I am. Okay, that, I will take advantage of having one. you. As, as long, as long, well, I'm happy to have you. Uh, this is the first time we have a Muslim woman. She's a doctor, Corinne. As long you are a doctor, I want to ask you, as long Allah, he predict about something will happen to me when I go to space. Do Allah even know how the baby is created? Yes, he Okay, does. how he knew? Can you give me a verse? Uh, well, there are first, he get, uh, he said that we are from, um, from Nutfa, which is a sperm. Um, um, okay. and, from the sperm and then okay. and what we happened? become like we evolve but then there is stage okay. just like the embryo I know the embryology and it doesn't uh, it's uh, it's the same as the 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 order in Quran hmm. okay let us let us see the order of the Quran and it says here mm -hmm. chapter 23 verse number 14 then we made the nutfa into a clot what is nutfa in Arabic <laughs> what is the nutfa in Arabic yeah uh, not the, the um, so this is um, when the sperm and the ovum uh, fuse they create that no 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 uh, what is not fun what is not don't don't avoid the question the please. definition the definition of it in Arabic no, don't give me Arabic you speak English not for what is not for I don't, I, I don't have an explanation for it that you are a doctor you are a doctor in, okay in not English. far not far is not far is a millions of a semen or it is one semen Mm -hmm. Is it millions or one? A nutfa? Nutfa is one. One what? It's a drop. Nutfa is a drop, correct? Nutfa is one, 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 one sperm. One sperm? Nutfa, it's not. Okay. So, uh, uh, in the front of everybody, can you show me one place in the word, in dictionary, it says nutfa is not a drop? Is It is one semen? One sperm? Can you show me that or you are lying now, Sarah? No, I'm not lying, but Nutfa is from the sperm. Okay, but Nutfa is Nutfa is a drop. Is Nutfa is, is a drop? drop? Is Nutfa is a drop of liquid, or it is one individual sperm? It's like both definition goes. What no, don't tell me goes. No, 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 it doesn't goes. No, it doesn't goes. No, it doesn't goes. No, Sarah, you know you are lying. Nutfa is a drop. Not lying. I'm okay. not lying. Don't okay, hold on. Alert. Well, let, let us see. Christian Prince is talking to you. You are a doctor. Everybody will be laughing at you in a second. The Quran says that you are created from a gashing fluid. Chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. Can you read for us? Thank you. So it is, it is a drop. It is a drop. So why you are lying? But then, if you if you if you take the the creation of don't, human beings, don't tell me if you don't not, tell me if you is it, about, is, it a, about, is it a is it a drop is it a is it a drop or it, it is not a drop? It's a drop. Okay, so not far is not one semen. It's a drop. This is the first mistake because we are not created from a drop of semen. We are created from one semen. It's not all of it will be transformed into something else. So you lie about the first one. 
Secondly, no, where, lie. okay, no, 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 you did lie. lie, you did lie. No, 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 I didn't lie. You're First dead, you you're dead. From my okay. question. You jumped from my question. Second, no, uh, second we are thing. not jumping, we are not, we are not jumping. All, listen, listen. Okay. This is not okay. the creation, and then the not far, to another thing. hold on, hold on. The not, the not, the not the far. Water, the so now we grew. And you left so now the weak water. we did not. Why you left the, the, the clay? Why okay, you left we will talk about all of this. Oh, we will talk about. Adam. We will talk about all of this. You are a doctor. So not far. You did lie about not far. It is a drop of water, a sperm, not one. Secondly, it says here that the not far will became a clot. What is a clot? What's a clot? It's a blood clot. Thank you. So according to science. A blood According to science, a sperm, a drop of a sperm will turn into blood? Well, how, like in, in, the, embry in the embryology, yeah. it goes after the, the fertilization happened, uh -huh. then this, like the, there, is an, there is a blood in the ovum. Uh -huh. Sarah, you are a doctor. From which university you graduate? There's a blood in the oven. What oven? We are talking about what the notfa became. The notfa became a blood. The notfa itself. Listen, blood. listen, listen. Don't, don't play. Don't. Uh, uh, Sarah, you are a doctor. I'm trying to speak to you with respect. Okay. Please don't don't try to disrespect us. Please. I'm trying to respect you. Notfa. You are, you are disrespecting. No, no, you are disrespecting yourself by lying. It says the notfa. No, it says I'm the not. Okay. Not who is who, from the okay? Who, what? You jumped from the main okay, hold on. What is the notfa? The notfa is a sperm. It's a drop of a sperm. Hold on, hold on. Look how many people. Look how many people. Look how many people laughing at you, Sarah. Sarah. And yet you are speaking about the embryology. Sarah, Sarah. The notfa is a drop of a sperm. You lie about this one. Secondly, the notfa is turning to be a blood, and you are the one who says that. In which science agree that the notfa itself became a blood, and then that dead blood will become a little lump, and then that little lump will become a flesh and bones. Which science says that that a notfa will become a blood? Explain to us. Not notfa. There's no egg of a woman. There's nothing about the woman. It is the notfa. Read the carefully the verse. It says, and the notfa, which is a drop of a sperm, will turn into, we made it into a clot. And the Muslim, thanks to the Muslims, this Muslim translation says, a piece of thick congelated blood. Congealed blood. So this is a very thick blood, dead blood. This is what notfa is. I mean, the clot. The clot is dead blood. And now the notfa became a dead blood. What kind of science Allah is teaching us? You are going to take it the way that you want. No, I'm showing you the translation. This is your Muslim translation. This is your Quran. This is what your Quran is saying. No, but, the, guys, but then, but then the, does it say, does from it, the first instance, it, why you jumped it, from the ascending to the sky into embryology right now? You are the one who jumped. You are the one who jumped. You're, it, it's recorded. No, it's, I didn't. It is you, didn't. It is you speaking about Allah predicting, and it is you who run away from Allah saying nobody can pass, and it is you who fabricated saying Allah, he said authority, and it's you who said, I said to her, did Allah give authority to the infidels, the kuffar, the, 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 the communists, the Christian, the Jews, everyone. but he did not, no, he did not give. Everyone. Here we go. We go back to the verse. You see, because this verse is embarrassing. You don't want to talk about it, correct? So now we go back. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We go back to the verse, the one you mentioned. What kind of a Quran says that a shaitan he will try to spy and Allah will shoot him by a star? Is that there true? Is a verse, but I, yeah, huh? there is a verse. The, the, first of all, after Rahman, um, I can translate it in English, but um, it says that. Um, okay. uh, this is when when you cross uh, the sky because um, the sky from from um, not the specific place there are certain places that you can cross from the sky to the sky ah, so guys if you go if you try to enter the heaven, not from the highway exit, Allah will shoot you. Aha! This is what Allah he meant. There is a main gate. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Just, just hold a second. If you go across to the, to the space, does that mean you are in the heaven? Okay, hold on, hold on. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No. So are you saying your prophet is a liar? Because your prophet, he says, he went to the first gate and the second gate and the third gate and the fourth gate and the fifth gate and the seventh gate. The first gate located where? 
if the first heaven, the first sky is not the first heaven, where was the first gate located? I don't know. You don't know. Here when we go. You, you so mean, the answer is I don't know. Embarrassing. Okay. Go, okay. I don't know. See? And, see? and most Muslims they don't know. But okay, we do not know. Most Muslims do not know. We know that. We know that. Okay. Let's go. Let us go. Let us go. Let us go. You don't know. This is the answer. No, we got. It. We got. It. No. It says here that assembly of jinn and mankind cannot pass. Which interpretation you agree with, agree with you. You are still Sarah, skipping my question. Sarah, question. I am not, I'm skipping not skipping anything. You're a, you're a prophet, he predicted nothing about going up to the sky because nobody can go to the sky anyway. Secondly, mention to me something. Okay, hold sorry, on. Sorry, No, he predicted that when you ascend speedily to the sky, you will start to have chest. It says speedily, it says in the Quran speedily. Okay, in the Quran it says, in the Quran, in the Quran it says speedily. Okay, hold on, hold on, in the Quran it says speedily. Yasad, Yasad means? Yasad is speedily? Yasad is just a level, but Yasad is to higher level, like, in a certain speed. Ah, for sure any movement is going to be in a certain speed, but does it say the word speed there? Then how, like, for example, what no, 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 Why you are adding word to the Quran is not exist there. Guys, so look, look at this, look at this. She is stuck with this verse, all the stupid verse in the Quran. This is the only verse is good for her. All the stupid things in the Quran, the nutfa became a congealed dead blood, is not a problem. She skipped, from, she don't want to talk about it. The Quran saying that you cannot go out to the heaven and Allah will shoot your ass if you try to go, is not a problem. And now she's stuck with the verse saying, if you go up to the sky, you your chest will be bad, you know. But this is something we know, all of us. If we go, we climb. No, any, if you no, climb, no, no. if you no, climb no, a tree, no, if you no, climb no, a tree, no, if you no, climb, no, you are a doctor. No, you are a, you are a, you, you, you are not a true doctor. I can tell because a true doctor don't say what you just said about the nutfa. That's very embarrassing. Secondly, if you climb a tree, that will happen to you. You do not need to go to the sky. Climb a tree and you will breathe heavily. You will get tired. Climbing is not the same as descending or going down. It is not a secret. And you add words to the Quran to make it a it's fabulous a Quran. Are, okay, are hold on, hold on, hold on. To, okay, uh, hold on, hold on. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. You said to me, time. you said to me, you don't accept that. You don't accept the hadith. Is that because the uh, hadith? No, I didn't so. Okay. I didn't say so. I said hmm. there are certain hadith. Prophet Muhammad knew that uh. they are going to be to, to lie on his on on his name. Okay, but isn't isn't Islam based on the hadith and the Quran? Based firstly, first and the foremost is okay. Quran. Okay, where in the Quran? Have you okay, ever where in? Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Based, firstly, 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 firstly is based on the Quran. Where in the Quran it says that you cannot do muta. You cannot do what? Muta. Why you jump to such a question? No, no, you are saying to, you are saying to me the Quran, Islam is based first in the Quran. Okay, I want to know if I can do muta or not. The Quran says you can rent women Sorry, for one I, night stand. You so, are speaking about something completely like. No, I'm tr I'm uh, a, I'm a questioning your honesty. Listen. If you say to me, based on the Quran, firstly, and then second in the Hadith, then we should take the Quran first. The Quran says you can do okay. muta. You can. Uh, what, what verse you are chapter uh, four, about? Chapter, chapter, chapter 4, verse 24, you can do muta. So, uh, which do, chapter? Chapter 4, verse number 24. So, do we take the Quran firstly, or we take the Hadith firstly? We'll take the Quran. Okay, the Quran says you do muta. Yes, yes, I do agree on that. Okay, so do you do muta today? What kind of, um, like an affair? Muta is a, is a man coming to you and paying you money to sleep with him. Excuse my language. This is what muta no, is. No, 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 no. No? Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Definitely no. Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you in the screen an Islamic website explain the muta for us. Is that okay? This is like you can't. This the only thing that you can have is by marriage. They lied also about. Okay, about hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, what what is the word muta? What is the word? What is the word muta? I mean, what is what is the word? What is the word muta? I mean, pleasure. What kind of pleasure? Well, in this context, means in in um, well, in this context mm -hmm. with marriage. What what pleasure? What the pleasure we're talking about? 
sexual affair. Thank you very much. So the woman, she got paid for sexual affair pleasure. Is that correct? She offer a service of sexual affair pleasure and she got paid for it, correct? Sorry, oh, you are going out of the context and I can't okay. really go through let us, such a Okay, discussion. hold on. Let us see if you are lying uh, or not. Let us see if you are lying or not. That's a very, so, okay, first of all, no, what, no, what no, we no, learn no, from no, you, what we learn no, from you, no, okay, what we learn from you, okay, hold on, hold on, Sarah, Sarah. What we learn from you, that you agree, guys, this is a Muslim, this is a Muslim Sunni woman. She agree with Muta. Read it. Listen to She agree with the Muta. No, no, no. Let us see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It says, in general, this is Muslim website. In general, the word Muta, hold on, please. Was more no, commonly I don't want used. To hold on because your no, you, we have. This is not my. This is not my interpretation. This is not my interpretation. I can show you. I can show you Shia. I can show you Shia. I will show you Shia. Just wait. Just wait. I will show you Shia and Sunni. Shia and Sunni. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. 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 I don't care if you want to rent, listen or not, you can hang up, but you are lying. Here we go. This is your Muslim I'm website not, explaining I'm that Muta, Muta is a sexual, you, you are the one who agree, you are the one who agree that the word Muta is a, is a sexual, you are the one who agree. I am not, I am not, it is you. You see, Sarah, you are, Sarah, you are being rude, you are being, you are being rude, and you, and you will not, and you will, and you will not let me prove you. Let us see who is lying. Okay, listen, listen. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sarah, Sarah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I will call you back. Okay, okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Will call you back. Guys, did she say she agree with Muta? Did she say that? It's recorded. Embarrassing. She said we agree with the Quran first. Firstly, the Quran. I ask, okay, let's give you an example. Do you agree with the Muta? She said, what verse? We gave her the verse number. She said, yes, she agreed with the Muta. We asked her what the Muta is. She said, it's a pleasure. I said, what kind of a pleasure? She said, marriage. I said, no. What kind of a pleasure? She said, sexual pleasure. Let us see what the sexual pleasure. This is Islamic website. This is not my interpretation and you are a liar. Like your prophet. Alislam.org. Al what? alislam.org and we will show you from any website you want i can show you from ibn kathir al qurtubi al tabari al jalalain all islamic sunni websites you are a liar and everybody will be dying laughing at you read carefully in some work a special terms applied to women who participate in muta musta'jara or rented women Sarah, she agreed to be rented. We heard her saying, she agreed with Muta. Muta is considered as kind of rental because in general, a man, basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman. In return, she denied that she got paid. In return, of her joy enjoyment the women receive certain amount of money and property now let us go to the quran and get her busted from there that's why she keep talking she will not let me talk because embarrassing we go to the quran <laughs> it says you paid in their wages wages those who do muta with him and we can go and see the islamic sunni interpretation for the verse so the Muslims, the Muslim, they will not say, oh, uh, this is a Shia. You see? Ujurahunna. Ujurahunna. Fa'atuhunna ujurahun. Let us go to the interpretation for this verse. Because maybe Christian Prince is lying. This is what Sarah, she said. Can we go to Ibn Kathir as an example, who is a Muslim Sunni terrorist? Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Al Qurtubi. Let us go to any scholars you Muslims accept. We will see all of them, they agree. It is Muta. You'd lie to them. This is your own interpretation. You are a liar. 
same on you let us see this is Ibn Kathir she said you don't get payment for that those among you who receive and have enjoyed enjoyed what she agreed this is sexual joy give them their required due Let us go to more because here they cut all the interpretation of Ibn Kathir in Arabic. They make it very short in English. Liars. Liars. Official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Chapter 4, verse number 24. Is a Jalalain a Christian? Is he a Jew? Is he a Hindu? Is he? Any Muslim in the bushes? If you don't like a Jalalain, we can give you Ibn Abbas. All married women are forbidden to you, except the captive. Rape the captive, even if they are married. That's what the Quran teaching. And then he says, uh, let us see what he speak about the muta here. So you should seek with your money marrying women for an agreed period of time. Seeking with what? With your money. What seeking what? Marrying women. Where is where is the word marriage there? It says lawful for you to do have sex with the following, including the slaves. You do not need to marry them. So you seek with your money women who agree for period of time and they get money paid for that period of time and Sarah thanks to her she agreed that it is about sexual enjoyment so the women she get paid for a service of sex is that Shia no this is Sunni it was a lawful practice but then later was abrogated. Where is the abrogated verses? <laughs> abrogated? Where? How? How you can abrogate the Quran by a hadith? So Sarah, she lied when she said, firstly, we follow the Quran. And she agreed that she have to follow muta. And she lied saying she don't get paid because this is absolutely a lie. Muta have to have certain things to be considered muta. Number one, agreed period of time. Which means the man and the women, they have to agree for how long they are going to have sexual relationship. This is not a marriage. This is a terms and conditions of a prostitution. You go to the woman, you tell her for how long? If she say two hours, it is two hours. If you agree for 10 days, it is 10 days. If you agree for 10 hours, it's 10 hours. What is the return? Seek with your money. So we have to agree about how much. And then after they agree about the period and the money, they have both say clearly, I agree with this term and condition to give myself to the following person. And he say, I agree. Me, Muhammad Abdul, Abdul Karim, I agree to pay this woman $10 for taking off her panty. And how long a panty can be off? Muhammad, he taught us how long. If we go in the hadith, you see. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. They can't say it's a lie. They can't say it's fabricated. Allah also said, if any man and women agreed to what? Temporary marriage. How you can call it marriage? 
And by the way, what it says the word marriage in the hadith. She speak Arabic. أَيُّمَا رَجُلٍ وَإِمْرَأَ تَوَافَقَا فَعِشْرَةُ مَا بَيْنَهُمَا ثَلَاثُ لَيَالٍ فَإِنَا حَبَّهَا أَنْ يَتَزَيَدَا يَتَزَيَدَا تَرَكَا أَوْ يَتَرَكَا تَرَكَا What a fancy hippie religion. Any Muslim man and Muslim women, they like to have boom boom for three days, three night. Have it, do it. If they like to increase, they can increase. So you notice how the Muslims, they try to fool you. How Allah predict that you have a problem with the chest when you go in a certain speed. Where is the word speed? It says when you climb up. What speed? When you climb up the trees, you will do, you will get tired right away. Try, go right now. Tree, not a mountain. This is prediction. Let me predict. In Las Vegas, tomorrow is going to be hot. But this is Las Vegas. It's hot there anyway. This is a prediction. Allah, he is a prediction. But when we showed her how Allah, he said the stupid things and she claimed to be a doctor. And we asked her, what is a nutfa? She lie saying the word nutfa mean one sperm. When the fact the word nutfa is a drop. Let me do this. I love it when the Muslims, especially now today, we, we got a good fish actually. She claimed to be a doctor. Okay, hold on. <laughs> doctor, huh? Doctor Evil. This is your Muslim website. This is what? This is your Muslim website. This is the same verse we were reading. Nutfa. I will click on it. It says, as a semen a drop. Guys, does it say the word the drop? Does it say the word the drop or Christian prince is fabricating? Do you see it? Should I zoom more? You see how they lie? It's embarrassing. So, a drop of semen will become a dead blood. This is science. This is what? This is science. That's a lot of science. This is why I say to you, you see, the reason I interrupt a Muslim when he speak, because they say things and they try to get away with it, like they throw it between the words, you know, and then you let it go, and then that's it, people believe in it. You know what I mean? This is why I don't I like when, when like in Brother David and, uh, you know, in his channel, when he debate Muslims, he let them say things and they get away with it. Right away, say to him, stop, 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 hear, hear what you say. Because he throw things between and you need to get him busted before he continue. They drop on you tons of lies. And because supposedly now we are focusing on one lie, we let the other 10 lies go. No, you cannot do that with a Christian prince. And you notice she tried to go, to try best to go back to the verse she wanted to talk about. She called me to talk about that verse only. Why you are taking me there? Those verses are embarrassing. This is nutfa, a, a sperm drop. Wherever you go, the Quran all over, a sperm drop. Why you are lying? Why you are lying? What kind of God he says such a thing? And not to forget to mention, we did not read for her, that the Quran says that a sperm, women have a sperm too. And their sperm, the sperm of the women is coming from the back, from the, from the ribs of the women. <laughs> anyway guys I want to say thank you I have somebody call me it's urgent and I need to call them uh, I wish I can stay longer don't forget please to subscribe
tell your friends about the channel and remember always in case in case we lose a channel because we have I have hundreds of channels to go live on them all right the Muslim they try always to stop us from exposing the lies of Muhammad good luck with that always we are going to be here and we are here to stay so in order always to find where we are located you can go either to patreon website as you see in the screen and you can check the last post of my video and that's mean this is the last channel i'm using for broadcast or you can you go to minds.com slash christian prince or you can go to instagram arabian prophet or you can go to facebook they cannot stop us People they follow. I have thousands of names. I don't know how many ten thousand, ten thousand in my list in Skype. I just can't update the link in my profile in, in Skype, and everybody will know where I am. As simple as that. They cannot stop us. They will never be able to stop us, and the truth will set you free. And by the name of the Lord, by the name of the Messiah, today we destroy the lies. And we were victorious it was very embarrassing for every single muslim when they lie and we get them busted we are happy for we have one muslim from albania he left islam and we cannot say one muslim he is a christian now we are happy we hope his family to follow thank you all for being here may the lord bless you and please uh, check from time to time instagram uh, Patreon, Facebook, subscribe there, Twitter, so you will be informed when we are going to be live on air and what channel we will be in because not necessarily we will go in this channel. We are trying to build many, many, many channels. Would you know if every channel we have like fifteen? This, like this channel have only fifteen thousand, sixteen thousand, small number. It doesn't matter for me. What matter is to go live. People record my videos, download my videos pause them right away in all languages and this is what we need i don't care for a channel i don't care for any channel all your channels is my channel if we go right now and search for my videos you will find that every single of you single person he have way more videos than my videos actually i don't have videos where are they my channel is empty i i have this one maybe two or three but in the internet i have tens of thousands of videos I am not exaggerating if I say tens of thousands. We are victorious and we will save Indonesia from the evil of Islam. We love Indonesia Muslim. We love Muslims. We will never hate them. And this is why we are here to save you. You save the one you love and the one you don't care for, you let him go. When there's a fire, you grab the most important person for you from the fire. And this is what we are doing for the Muslims. Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Jesus loves you, my friend. Wake up. The prediction of your God is a stupid prediction. We laugh at it. We die laughing. The ethic of your God is hilarious, stupid, disgusting. Muta. What kind of religion this religion is? Your sister come back home and she have 10,000 in her pocket and you ask her where you get the money. I was doing muta. And what they say, you lie. You give your own interpretation. You are the one who lie. We show everything we, we say in the screen with the proofs and evidence from your Islamic websites. Yet they accuse us of giving our own interpretation. Can you believe it? I mean, we are live on air. We are reading what is written in the screen in front of us. We show them the website. We show them the proof. We show them the reference. We show them the... And not only that, when I challenge her, can you show me one scholar agree with you? She cannot. So all the Muslim scholars agree with me, and I am the liar. Can you believe it? That is Islam, my friend. If you are a person who is looking for rented women, Muhammad is waiting for you. If you are a person who is looking for a woman to be, 
glorious in your life. Jesus said to the man, to be the same as a Christ, he sacrificed himself to the church. Christ, he made the women equal to the church. Equal to the church. And the man have a duty to do the same as Jesus did, not to beat the wife, not to humiliate the wife, not to abuse the wife, but to respect her and protect her the same as he protects his church. This is the value of women for us. Women is my mother, your daughter, your sister. Shame on you to put them down. Islam put them down. Islam give reward to the man when they go to heaven. And what the women she will get? She will be herself a reward to the man. How insulting. Not to mention that she will be a sexual object. How insulting. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Don't forget to download the video. We will not keep it for long as usual. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who are with you. Humbly, I say, may the Lord bless you all. Forgive me if I was rude with anyone. But the topic is tough and ugly. And this is what happens when you deal with the dirt. Garbage will be in your hands. Take care and God bless.